Hello everyone and welcome to the first channel to stream Tormenta 20 played in English. My name is Alexander Alexander Janusi. <laughs> Alexander Janusi, I'm the host and GM for this adventure, I guess. End of times. And with me, as always, I have an amazing cast, so let's please go ahead and do a round of introductions. Hello, my name is Giselle Fernandez, uh, they, them. I am playing the character of Bucko, he, they. Uh, he is a minotaur, chill, ranger, bro, dude, who's just here to have a good time, my man. <laughs> my favorite. Um, my name is Guilherme Moina, uh, him, I'll be playing Graham, a lethal arcanist. A sorcerer with completely red skin, elvish fe elven fe features, and deep red eyes. All red team, basically, just yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Natalia Moleiro, uh, she, her. I will be playing Kit, the ginger half elven cleric who's has a lot of work on her hands with this group. <laughs> <laughs> well, all of my things are loading. Hi, I'm Sydney Granat. Uh, I am playing Time, a sylph slash fairy bard uh, with kind of blue green hair and butterfly wings. It just seems very tiny and dainty and adorable. And right now she's looking very, very uh, fragile and breakable and don't kill her, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Victor Leckie, and I am a former baby. You see, like most people I know, I was born at a very young age. And at one point between the ages of one day and three years, I was an actual baby. Anyway, I'll be playing with Crimson Void, a barbarian, a lefo barbarian who hates the Tormenta, and right now he's not looking great, and he doesn't have much mana points left, but I believe the group will not let him fall again. We'll see. Babe. Amazing. Screen some a baby, though? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't go too deep in his character background, but I think it's safe to assume that maybe. Okay. <clears throat> we'll workshop it. We'll come back to that. Previously <laughs> on Nendo Times, <clears throat> our adventurers met a couple of other adventurers. Captain Dihion, an ex soldier turned adventurer with a, an overstated sense of purpose, and Kururu a gentle wizard with a very unique view of the world. They were looking for their lost friend, Bullock, a jokester dwarf who was abducted by an elusive wandering circus. Together, our adventurers found a clue to the whereabouts of the circus in the form of a plea for help from Mabel LeBlanc. Mabel told them uh, that a day or two after a strange group of men tried to buy the Le LeBlanc estate, a man of P appeared with a circus, but she promptly shooed them away. However, her youngest son, Gaspar, had disappeared the next morning. The adventurers also created a few chances to talk to Blanche, Mabel's eldest daughter, who was tied to a bed, having what seemed to be both visions and hallucinations. Blanche described the scene where the circus people prayed around the tormenta-infected well behind the house. Blanche also described the scene where the circus leader, Mr. Zardu, a tall man wearing a turban, visited her at night and said that he didn't need to take her, for she was already almost one of them. She said that Pascal, her younger brother, was almost taken, but her other brother, Gaspar, offered himself instead. Before the players left her, Blanche said that she would die at the circus at the hands of someone with a large X. Before our adventurers left, Mabel LeBlanc practically showered them with the famous LeBlanc soup made with water from the well, the tormenta infected well, which both Crimson Void and Gran have been partaken of, especially Crimson. 
our heroes followed the circus trail to a crossroads <clears throat> where they had to choose to either go north or east and they went east. On their way, on their way, they met a woman named Fortunata who seemed to want to bet on anything and before they parted ways, Fortunata bet against the player's mission of rescuing Gaspar. Uh, they agreed that if they succeeded, she would tell them a secret and If they failed, she asked them to tell her something from their past that they weren't fond of reliving. Um, although only Gran and Kit agreed to that. Uh, later, they found dead goats near the main trail. And following their tracks, they found Gomer and his Cyphopagus brother, Fib, basically a nose and a mouth on his back, in their goat farm. Goats to, uh, goats. Gomer told them that four days ago, a girl came with her indescribable pet asking for a goat to feed to the pet. Gomer told her no, but ever since that day, some of his goats have been showing up dead in the mornings. Uh, their blood sucked dry. Our hero set up uh, Duke the Goat, the Goat Duke, goat, uh, God of Goats, as a debate for the girl and her pet in an attempt to try and lure her to reason with her. They came, arriving unseen, and things were about to turn sour uh, when Gran seemed to be able to get her to think about an alternative. She took Gran's vial. <laughs> she took Gran's vial of water from the LeBlanc well and left without saying much more. The adventurers weren't even sure what to do next when the circus presented itself to them. Carts and carriages rolling by themselves circled around the, re the heroes. A circus space built itself in front of the characters, including a fence, five tents, benches, and a stage in to the side of one of the bigger carts. Crimson Void paid the entry for himself and the group by promising to stay with the circus if they could keep them, keep him there. And so our adventurers walked into the fence, which closed behind them and the dwarf who greeted them disappeared. The, player, the players went into one of the tents and met another pair of Cyphopagus brothers, joined at the hip with a single pair of legs facing opposite directions, Korak and Karok. Only one of the twins was Alefo, the other one was not corrupted by the Tormenta. Um, and before Bran left the tent, promising to help them escape the, escape the circus, Karok warned Gran not to join the circus audience. And he said that the audience would be against them, but that maybe Gran's group could turn them around. Shortly after that, an image of Mr. Zardu appeared on stage and introduced his nightmarish show. And the hero's surprise, uh, to the hero's surprise, the first attraction was Tylora, the girl, the wild girl, and her coyote pet, which is no longer a coyote. It was a Tormenta Chupacabra. Uh, the stage changed as they appeared, now decorated with jungle and th themes and vines hanging and plants around the corners. Our heroes were herded onto the stage as the audience started chanting to them, one of us, one of us, turning one after the other against their friends. Crimson Void, after being turned, when having to attack his friend Bucko, got into such a hate rage that he snapped out of it and was out of the effect. Kururu was also turned and proceeded to harmlessly bonk everybody. <laughs> Bucko was also turned, but was released from the spell when the Tormenta Chupacabra was finally slain. After but a moment of respite, the image of Mr. Zardu appeared above the stage and introduced the next attraction, Xelirian, the Fire Lady, who was in truth a fire elemental dressed as a charming woman. All of her group fought valiantly, time sneaked towards the green room and to try and to speed things along. And she got exactly what she wanted. Our heroes rushed backstage, forcing the spectacle to open the curtains for the crowd's enjoyment and were rushed by the attractions of the circus. A dwarf with a beard made of lefo, lefeu insects which Kururu recognized as Bullock, who was put out of action by Kit's pleas for, for his conscience, 
a gigantic man with a tiny head and a huge belly mouth, Gronko, who's been trying to eat the adventurers ever since. And finally, Gaspar himself, now revealed to be <laughs> not a young child of 15, tiny child of, you know, medium size of 15 years old, but a hulking man with bald head um, and the giant mallet in his hands. He was said to be the strongest man in the world. Certainly the strongest man the group has ever seen. Uh, and before our adventurers could even talk to Gaspar, his sister Blanche appeared mysteriously in the green room and asked him to fight for the circus, saying that this is their home. This is where they belong. That he should crush these interlopers trying to get in the way. And we recognize that as an illusion, but he doesn't. Uh, and yes, Kururu was able to see through the illusion. Um, and saw that Blanche is not really there. Which brings us to this. Let me get the initiative rolling again. I just want to kill something. Is that too much to ask? As long as it's oh, not the party members. Aren't you also against us? I'm, I'm trying to remember, weren't not you? Anymore, no. Yeah, you okay. were influenced. But again? Yeah. It was, yeah. I said something. I didn't say <laughs> it had to be an enemy or a monster. <laughs> I'm glad I'm why, way why back. Why do you guys yeah, keep no, treating violence you, as a means to, to an end? <laughs> violence is the end itself. <laughs> oh boy. Crimson Lord. <laughs> Crimson Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, hearing his sister's words, Gaspar looks at you guys, who does an angry face. Lumbers forward and is going to whack at somebody. I will uh, roll. See, I wonder time, who. Time is, yeah, it's been nice knowing you. It's either you or yeah, me. Yeah, I'm just sitting um, there with like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Every time I try to run away from the danger, course. I just run into the danger. <laughs> oh, no. Your time. Oh no. Oh, he might actually just miss. No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh wow, okay. So that's the thing. No, Anyways. I don't like this. Um, uh, silver barbs, no? <laughs> <laughs> Different wrong system. Uh, I'm guessing. I'm guessing a twenty-one hits you. Yeah. Oh. Even with even with my arcane. Does, does a twenty-one armor? not hit? Not hit like any of this? Uh, not sure. Maybe Me? Crimson Void. I got twenty-one. Uh, what am I? A matchstick? <laughs> <Good luck>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am made okay. of pixie dust, and that's it. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get brought back just to immediately go back down? <laughs> Time, you take 17 damage. Oh, cool. No. Uh, I have negative four. Yeah. You're breathing? I believe in fairies. I have negative four. <laughs> I have not not zero. I have negative four. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, no, that, that that's actually better than straight dying, which is a possibility here. What's it? What's your total p uh, uh, hit points? If 13. you don't mind me asking. Thirteen. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was a uh, full. <laughs> no, minus yeah. ten is still low. You're two lowest. points away from dying. Dying. Yeah. Shit. No, okay. no, 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 no. Okay. She has to go to minus, minus 10 minus to die. 10. Minus 10? Okay. Yeah. It's minus 10 or what's the, oh, the lower. Oh, what's... Okay, okay, okay. So it's whatever's but lower. But I can also just bleed out. 
Yes. You, yeah, yeah, you're still ble bleeding, though. You have to stabilize. Yeah. If Kit can't get you on and not her get turn, hit, I can get way. you on mine. <laughs> I can probably do my own healing melody on myself. I didn't want to do it again so soon, but... <laughs> from unconscious? You're oh, unconscious, if I'm unconscious, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, never mind. Um, can you roll a fortitude check for me, please? <sighs> yes, because I'm so good at those. Oh, dang, guys. Uh, let me there were some effects still in place, if I remember correctly. I have, like, three oh, yeah, of them. Oh, yeah, I have inspiration still. Um, and then... It's uh, plus one, I think. Yeah, plus one to everybody for everything. Yeah. So that's why not? 13. 13 does not save. I, yeah, I was going to say, I made a pixie dust. That's that's what I am now. Uh, you're thrown here. Well... Which well, is not good because the guy yeah. vomits. Closer to both like, of us. Ah! Oh, fuck yeah, you're right in between um, the two people who have healing powers, so that's something. There's that. And you take okay, another that's, D6 that's damage, but you only take one damage. Some lucky rolls here. You guys Boy, see this? Die, die, right on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if it had been six, you'd be dead, dead. Yeah. You, see, you guys see this giant lumbering man. Like he's going, you guys see he's going for a grunt, and he sees this like flying thing in the way, and he just goes, get, catches her like right in the middle, and time just goes, poof, hits the wall, poof, hits the floor. Uh, you see a little bit of pixie dust just go poof, on the air. Does does time bleed or just <laughs> uh, a little bit of? <laughs> How See, just Pofurina? a little it's dramatic like a... triple trickle of blood glitter. from the corner, but then like a lot of like it, it cool glistens. glitter yeah. everywhere. <laughs> like, uh, you know, she's nothing if not dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, that's little Gaspar, the little kid you guys came to save. Little Gaspar. Listen, we knew he wasn't gonna be little. <laughs> I just didn't know he'd kill me immediately. <laughs> I got one. Oh, man. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, man. Also, I'm the talker. I was going to try to... <laughs> All right. Just making sure that was it. Um, as he gives his first swing, another image appears out there. Mr. Zandu oh, no. starts talking. To the audience and because he's talking to the audience his grasp over crimson void's mind vanishes yes and the crimson void gets all his mp back and his hit points and he's now full power and oh now we come back from that what if uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, no. mr jaldu appears and he goes the newest attraction to join the wonder and uh, the the Spectacle of horrors and 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 what is it again? You should know that. <laughs> the spectacle of prodigies and horrors. Uh, a creature capable of crushing rocks with his bare hands. A titan in human form, destined for greatness. Greatness. A colossus capable of rivaling the god of strength himself. Tremble before the might of Gaspar, the strongest man in the world. Um. And on top of all the effects that are all overlapping each other now, because the creatures are all on stage and, and like all the effects are convoluted, um, you see iron bars and like like um, this dumbbells start like dropping on the floor around you guys. Um, oh yeah, uh, Kururu still has her eyes thing. Her vision. Yes, detect magic is good Mystical for her. vision, yes. Mystical vision, yeah. Um, cool. Cool, cool. Are the sweets still there that we thought might have stuff that could help us? Yes. Okay. And Kururu does see that some of them are illusions, some of them are not. Which doesn't mean that the illusions are useless. Yeah. Um... So right now, there's a there's gonna be a cool effect going on. Cool for me, obviously. 
Uh, <laughs> the stage floor is covered with iron weights um, and various size of various sizes and shapes, which makes the place <clears throat> difficult to rain. A character can take the risk of walking at normal speed, but this requires an acrobatics check. Um, on a failure, the character kicks or bumps into one of the weights, taking 1d4 impact damage. <laughs> That's so funny. And stops their movement midway. No one's, la no one's laughing, man. Uh, I am. That's great. Um, anyways, that is Crimson Void. Crimson Void! He it's heard under my control. No, Crimson Void heard is our dude saying that this guy is so strong that he rivals the power of the god of strength. Which is dead, by the way. So Crimson Void is like, what? This guy is this guy stronger than me? No, that can't be true. That's impossible. In a Luke Skywalker-esque <laughs> scene that brings everyone to tears. <laughs> or whatever you decide to do, I'm cool with both. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll tell you what. Um, you're going to roll a check for me real quick. Right. And depending on what you get, you will give yourself a um, debuff on the attacks that you're going to do. Um... So it's a will check. Don't like that, but okay. <laughs> 15. Quietest. I don't like that. All right, do All you right. have inspiration added? Uh, it's, yes, yes. Oh. No, no, it's already, it's, it's 15. It's, it's 15? Okay. Yeah. But 15 is what you needed. <sighs> um, but where you see Crimson Void walking your way. No. He's, he's still like, oh. All his muscles are like, like he doesn't want to, but his his hand, his hands bring him up, brings it up, and he swings once. Um, you can roll the attack. Like, twenty six. Damn it! Yeah, that hits. What's me? Cool. Well, does a twenty one hit? I think it still hits. Yeah, well, I'm, you know, I'm down. I can I can pay an extra PM to cause more extra damage. Just give me a sec. Oh no, sorry. I'm I, already I do down. That. Twelve That's... is twelve is more than I. I'm That's... minus two oh, now. Oh god. Oh crap. Oh boy. Sorry, sorry I need to save, save the muscle. <laughs> no. <laughs> kid, kid, kid. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Um, Listen, if you get either of us up, we can get the other up. <laughs> you know, if you don't also die. <laughs> Kit? Yeah. Yeah, please don't die. Well, seeing the situation, it's a little dire. Um, oh, God. Kit's going to turn Sea Crimson attacking us. Sea Pascal on the other side. And... Oh my god, I don't know what to do. And I'm gonna reach out to Bucko and cure wounds him. Because I know he can help time. And I'm gonna spend 2 p.m., which is actually just one because I have my holy symbol up, to roll an extra. So it's 3d8 plus 3. Nice. 17. That's a lot of Heck healing. Yeah, thank That's you. Awesome. Okay, so I attack again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm going to slowly move. Where to, though? <laughs> Wait. <We're quarter. laughs> I mean, can you try to see what's in those dang boxes? I can't. I already used my action. Okay. But I can't just, like, move here to the yep. corner, I guess. Yeah, you can stay in front of me. I, I won't mind. Yes. <laughs> Grim That's what I do. Crimson brains! Come here to help me! <laughs> help uh, me kill everyone! 
but not you guys. No, no. Uh, I will do it because I don't have any control over myself. I had other plans. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I know how stuff is. I did yeah. too. No, like I, I, <laughs> I thought of maybe something that would take possibly help out with Bas with uh, Gaspar, but I used my action to heal. So that's that. That's my turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have Kururu with you. I know, but like I still need to use her in my turn. Like it's either her or yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But give me a mysticism check, please. Please don't for don't let me forget that. Okay. What is a Mississippi check? Oh, mysticism. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different thing. I'm different on game. fire this week, man. Uh, nobody can. <laughs> Natural twenty. <laughs> hey. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. Natural 20. Okay. I will write for you... She wins. Which rocks are which? Spells. Ooh! Um, Everybody's dying. Kuru is like, ooh. Rocks! <laughs> Right. She's like walking around. I mean, character. Now that she realized that. Yeah. That's perfect. Now that she, yeah. <laughs> now that she realized that everyone rocks. Yeah. Looking at, <laughs> Look at the like, um, Palinha de Kuji. How is it called? Like the little. Marbles. 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 Yeah. Marbles. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, cool. So one of the orange one is. I forget the name, but like Flaming Hands or something. Whatever it's called. Uh, you already know. Of, uh, cure wounds. Uh huh. Wait. The petrified. Which one? The the, the flaming hands you said. Yeah. So the orange one is, is the flaming. Whatever the name of the spell is, I forget. Sorry, yeah. that's bad. Uh, the petrified branch is control plants. Ooh. Nice. Heck yeah. Nice. Um. Uh, Blue one. Let's cure wounds. There's another blue that Crimson gave her. There's two blue. That, that one was just for roleplay, I think. So it doesn't... Yeah, but the it? one that I gave was also for roleplay. Mm -hmm. It was all for roleplay. roleplay and the master's enjoyment. <laughs> uh, and San the Sandy. Yeah, sandy same. looking. Sandy one, I forgot. I will decide in a bit. Okay. Sandy return anyway. All right. Uh, buckle. That's me. Uh, um, let's see. I mean, I guess I'm gonna pull time back up. You don't need to move if you don't want to, because like you're adjacent oh, right. when you're like <clears throat> diagonal as well. I'm adjacent to her. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, pull time back up or attack that dude. Now nah, I'll, I'll pull time back up because I don't. <laughs> I don't want you to die. Um, so that would be, I'll spend an MP to healing herbs time, which is uh, 2d6 uh, for HP, which is seven. You get seven hit points back. <laughs> cool. Puts me at two, I think. Uh, yeah. I'll do do you not add your your wisdom? I d uh, no, I don't. I just okay. it's for each MP that I spend, I heal do two d six limited by my wisdom uh, for how many okay. MP I can spend, which is oh. one. Hey, she she's seven. <laughs> you seven know HP you're better than she was. <laughs> sure, I am conscious now. She has three I got HP. Little, I got you, little dude. <laughs> Great. Thank you. If you want to hop in my backpack, you're welcome to do that. I, I might still have a couple of things up my sleeve. Good backup option, though. I appreciate it. Right on. Did, did, did Bucko move? Don't think so, right? No, no. he didn't move. He but, can. Um, but, oh, it's a yeah, full action, can't. right? No, it's, um, it's a movement action to get up. Oh, um, oh, that's right. Okay, so yeah, so I got up right. But is it, isn't it a full action to... Cast your healing. To um, 
I mean, time's on the floor. Yeah, Buckle's on the floor. Can't they just... No, they if, can. she can just reach out they and, can. And, just and heal. Stay, but she's, stay down. Yeah. But you're still down, yeah. Yeah, yeah Technic- okay, so while he's on the floor, he's just going to be like... Yeah. Like, pat over on her. Just be like, hey, I got you. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, this is looking really bad. Oh, Welcome no. back to the slumber party. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but just, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> um, cool. Isn't this circus music so soothing? <laughs> not stressful or creepy at all. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Unless you were fine. not playing at the same table, I would have thrown a pencil at you by now. <laughs> <laughs> um, the last, the the sandy rock is fog. Nudge. Fog. It's an option. It's, you know, yeah. keeping your options. Hit us if they can't see us. <laughs> yeah. You you can throw it at someone and say, Fog, Fog, <laughs> you. Fog, uh, Fog you. <laughs> and keeping it PG. <laughs> what are you up to your time? Oh. Breathing. <clears throat> Sorry, didn't even know it was my turn now. You wake- All right. Uh, <clears throat> I'm awake. You wake up on the floor. With a headache from being thrown, like your neck is hurting a bit. You're like, oh, what the hell? All right. <clears throat> okay. This might be a medicating question, but for the trunks, I'm assuming those are actually there. We could actually open them and see if there's anything in them. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, I don't like. There's also a bunch of sweets around. Yeah, I was also like, wait, I, I'm close enough. I, I remembered the blue lines, what they meant. That I'm close enough that I can just go... S- the blue lines uh, is for you to walk on stage. Which yeah, is like the are, curtains are open. Yeah, so I could just um, leave backstage, which seems like a very good plan for me. Um, and then for the stuff on stage, do we know what is real and what is an illusion at this point? Can we, like, okay. see them? Kururu yeah. can point out, technically. Kururu yeah. can point it out. So, um... I, I have enough distance to, like, get one and check it out, I will. Cool. So the only limitation I'm giving is, like, because I didn't plan any, like, little tokens to put on stage or anything. Um, there's one of each. They're on the stage, so not backstage. Mm-hmm. And if you try one on one square, you got to go to another square to try another one. But I'm not going to be mm-hmm. trying to remember which one is in which square. Like, it's just going to be going to do this quick mechanic. Um, so there is a circus ring cake. Which is a small cupcake with fine <clears throat> detailed reproduction of the stage, including Gronko and the characters. Mm-hmm. Um, a sugar, sugary canapé, a, like sweet biscuits with a slice of slice of eggplant and a small piece of caramel on top. Um, there is a <laughs> marzipan of Valkaria, which is the goddess of humanity, which is like a little statue of her. Um, these are all illusions. There is a bar of Gorad, which is chocolate, basically. Um, and there seems somebody seems to have bitten it, taken a generous bite off of it. There's a meringue, meringue, um, covered with colorful sprinkles. Uh, and the little love eye, a wooden stick with an eyeball covered with a generous layer of reddish candied caramel. And these last three are real. No soup? Disappointing. <laughs> no soup. No soup for you. Uh, what was the last one? An eye in a soup I? with caramel. Mmm, yummy. So time's go time like me would go for the chocolate. <laughs> Alright. And praying uh, that there's not anything funky in it. Otherwise, well I'm dead either way. <laughs> you go for the chocolate. Roll a will save, please. And walk on stage. Yeah. Um. Hi. Let me. Okay. Sorry. 
I'm in the it's wrong thing. There we go. I'm just gonna be like, boop, I'm here. <laughs> Pike, do not let me down here. Ooh, she did not do bad. Uh, we'll say we get a plus two to that. So seven. Uh, oh, and inspiration. So eighteen for that. Yep. Um, cool. You get to roll a d4. Okay. Wish me luck. So two. I don't know if you did this knowingly, but Gorad in this game in Tormenta in Arton is generally associated with um, recovering mana points, which you just did, two of them. Because <laughs> it gives you the energy and courage to go forward. It's just time being like, maybe. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if this is going to help. Takes a bite out of chocolate, goes, mm, makes everything better. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. Dang. All right. Uh, this is now Bullock. Let me Come see on, what Bullock is going to do. Kill the red dude. Wait. <laughs> the red dude? The one with the ears. Kill the giant dude. He's a, about Don't him. kill him. We, we, the, yeah, we, we need to fine. save him. Oh. He's right. a kid. I mean, yes, um, right. not really, but like, <laughs> you know what I mean. I mean, it's Through someone's a kid. Chocolate time, just like <laughs> somebody should probably talk to him. <laughs> Someone who's good at talking to people, maybe. <laughs> Can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy enjoying this chocolate. <laughs> See the bullock is seeing Crimson Void attacking uh, the friends now. Oh, and the people he thought were, you know, the people who was now trying to defend. And he goes, no, no. Oh, you see, he's like still a little dazed. And the more insects keep flying in from him, like from his general vicinity. And you see two more swarms form around Crimson Void this time. Whoa. Oh, come on. Uh, There's two Bettys. And he went for our Betty. Yeah, I mean, someone's someone has had to die. I mean, the other Betty has like four swarms on him. To be fair. Yes. Yeah. So the Betty, Gronko, you see, he's like trying to swat away some of the bugs, no, and don't embrace him. <clears throat> he's like just swatting away, like. <clears throat> And he's already very hurt. Like you guys had given him some gnarly um, <laughs> wounds. And you see the insects start going for the wounds in his face, in his giant mouth. And he just like starts slowing down, slowing down and boof, falls back. Is he knocked out? He's knocked out. Thank goodness. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Can't do any harm. <laughs> I was getting very anxious here. <laughs> Why oh, see God. The One of those telltale things. But he might. Ren will remember this. <sighs> um, Crimson Void also takes two points of poison damage. Oh no. She's immune to. Right? Right? No. Not at all. Come on. And that's we're, Gron. We're immune to everything. Um, Gron, you see a huge dude looking at you with a huge mallet in his hands. Oh no, I want nothing to do with that. <laughs> um, well, I uh, Kururu did point out that that the girl was 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 an illusion. So I see what's going on here. But. Yeah. Uh, is eating eating one of those um, candies an action? Yep. Okay, so Kit, hold on a sec. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> I'll be right back, I promise. Uh, oh, how many? I can go... Nine here? squares. Uh, yeah. Oh, six. Six squares. Okay. Nine meters. Can I get me some candied eye? Candied eye. Roll a will save. Mm. Okay. Um, wait. Oh, no, this... Okay, oh, okay, I don't want to be against my own team, but technically, if you want to walk the six squares, I think you have to do an athletics check. Or acrobatics, right? That's because right. of the dumbbells? Because, oh... Yeah. That's true. Because of time, because I, of I don't have to go back for time because she flies, but... She flies. Yeah. Because of what? Sorry? Because the dumbbells and, and iron weight So on the either floor. You, you go slowly, which is half your movement, Oh, or... no, 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 it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I despise reality and it doesn't bother me. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Damn you not! <laughs> I'm trying to be fair. I'm going to call you. out okay. the GM as well if he fucks us uh, over. Yeah, I give like one one step and, and I'm reminded of that uh, voice in my head. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm like, like well, you know what? careful Screw with this. the dumbbells. <laughs> no, 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 I'm fine, like, I'm fine. I yell and at I, him. I, Flicker in and out of reality, and I ignore. Uh, I didn't. I couldn't figure out if there were like dumbbells uh, like on certain spots or if they were everywhere. I didn't know what they're the everywhere. Okay. Uh, okay. And it, it just like fell from the the the, the rafters. somewhere. I Hi, the rafters. forgot. It's so much mayhem that I, I've, I I'm sure I forgot like half the stuff in here. Um. So, yeah, we'll save you, set. Yeah. Okay. Sixteen. Right. 16. Um, you bite into the first of all. You like have your back against the wall. You see this guy. You look at the outside. You're like, oh, I might as well try it. You try to go for the side. You immediately step on one of the like irons of a rolling uh, weight. You're like, ah, bad idea. You just instinctually go like you start to start to despise reality. Just run outside. Look at the first thing you see. There's an eye on the sticks. Like, good enough. You bite yeah. into it, and you feel like the the caramel um, has a, a kind of like a um, it's like a reddish caramel with with a, a red berryish, you know, type mm. of flavor. Um, and inside it, there is a, an eye. You don't know which kind of eye, but it like kind of breaks in your mouth, and it, poof, a little mm, bit of crunchy. liquid ju nice. jumps outside. Okay. Does the Aww, pop, you know? come on. Ooh, delicious. <laughs> nice. I mean, you guys were eating soup. I don't think this is much tastes, worse. Tastes like guava, yeah. Just, I, I like um, it. And <laughs> as you're eating it, you, re you look around and you realize your doubles, they're just, they're, they're like flickering themselves. Uh, you have plus five defense until the end of the season. Holy shit! Okay. Whoa. Um, that's, that's nice. Plus five. I always okay. imagine the spice reality as like the guy with a really high ping on online games, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I clipped through the wall, technically. Well, yeah. I, thought, <laughs> I thought of uh, Wreck-It Ralph and Vanellope just like glitching. Yeah, yeah. glitching. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Hey, so I've, I think I have the highest <laughs> defense now. Or do you? Um, yeah, 22. <laughs> Shit, <many> crickets. <laughs> 22. <laughs> oh, you got the thing. I forgot about uh, it. No, man. I have 23 without the thing. With the thing, oh. I'm, I have 27 right now. <laughs> My God. Barbarians. Good thing he's fighting against you guys. <laughs> yeah. You're a walking well, tank. Good thing my attacks don't don't care for defense. So. Um, well, well that, that's it, I think, because... Um, yeah, that's an action, the movement, and I am done. Yep. You see... <laughs> Kit. Come on, Bullock is right there too. I will give you that. He looks at <laughs> Bullock, the guy has, that has been traveling with him. Um, who's on the floor? I'll roll a die. But it's not looking good. Do, do you want him to go after Bullock on a one, on a one, or on a four? On a one. On a one. Okay. 
You rolled a three anyway. Fuck. Okay. Um, I'm like pressing from- against the wall. Uh, Gaspar, what would your mom say? <laughs> Calm down. Uh, you see that he um, comes over here. He looks at down the corridor, which he hadn't seen yet, and he sees that Bullock is attacking the swarm. So now he does consider Bullock as an enemy. <clears throat> um, and he's going to attack him. <sighs> you see this? He hit, like, this is not a youngster in any way. Like, this guy had, probably has some 40 years old. But he, you see in his eyes, there's something, like, something childish there. Like, uh, maybe, you know, the the thing of the you know strong guys with tiny brains holds up for him, <laughs> um, or maybe he was just too spoiled by Mabel and he's still kind of childish. Like there's a little bit a bit of a of a um, childish, fearful child look in his eyes. Uh, does twenty hit you? He will murder you. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have to ask. Turn 20 is not that high for Tormenta, but okay. For a cleric level, level 2, yeah. yeah <laughs> With no high, armor. Man. No, that's yeah. pretty high. That's pretty high. That's pretty high. That's pretty high. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun reminder. <clears throat> We're all level 2 right now. <laughs> yeah. Are you? Uh, he comes walking yeah. and he goes... Ah, 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 and then he goes forward. Swings. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> and, and, and as a reaction, you're like, I'm going to dodge. But how? The mallet is so big... <laughs> Um, you get hit for 21 points of damage. I'm out. Golly. Oh, All good right. thing I got more mana. Give, All me, right. a, give okay. me a 42 check. This is ridiculous. One attack of him, like, he knocks me out. I was full life. Oh, which is good, because otherwise you might actually die, die. Oh, well. <laughs> Did- <laughs> Did, did you roll that die? Did you roll that die? <laughs> the one you showed. No. Rest in pieces, indeed. Ah. Rest in pieces. <laughs> Rest in pieces. That's me. Uh. What's my day for? Uh. Ooh, you land over here. Okay. Um, as he throws you, and you take another two points of damage because oh, I'm my d six doesn't like to roll high. Thank God. So Hey, good news, you landed next to me. <laughs> Yay. Bucko. I survived till my next turn. I got your back. <laughs> Bucko, you just hear... Ah! <laughs> a kid uh, uh, lands next to you it's on the floor. Like, this keeps it's happening. The, have, have you guys played Donkey Kong Country, the original one for the Super Nintendo? It's the sound that Diddy Kong makes. <laughs> oh, this card cut it out. But we know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I know uh, it's gonna sound. I know it's gonna sound like I'm trying to make a joke here, and I know it will because I was before. But I want to be very fair. That despite being good buds with Bucko, Kit was the person in the entire party that Crimson Void was like really attached to. Aww. One has to wonder how he's going to react to what he just saw. Okay, why is she the one he was attached to? Well, because he said like a few episodes ago that Uh he didn't care about knowing things in general and that he was going to trust her to be his brain. So and she was her. gonna trust him to be the muscles. Yeah, so yeah, he even called agreement. her the Crimson Brains on <laughs> yeah. back when the name of the group was decided as the Crimson Goats. That never <laughs> happened. <laughs> <laughs> Not a canon event. <laughs> Is there a question? A long shot question, but still a question. Is there any chance since she's landing in the square right next to me that I can like at least reach out my hand to cushion her fall a little bit so she doesn't take the extra two points of damage? Nah, it's just a mechanics thing. Good looking out though. (laughs) Good try, good try. 
No, that was, cool. that was cool. That was cool. I had to ask. <laughs> uh, some voice. Question. Does the guidance go out? No. No. Okay. It's not a sustained event. <laughs> to the uh, end of the scene, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, uh, yeah, Crimson Void. Give me a roof check. A what, sorry? Will. Will. Twelve. Oh. oh buddy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't have enough MP to even do, uh, to, to even reroll as lucky, so it is twelve. You want to make an attack roll? Or you want me to make the attack roll? <laughs> Against who? I'm on the ground, man. Against Buckle. Yeah, so there's a penalty on the on Buckle's defense because he's on the ground. So it's going to be yep. easier. I mean, technically, couldn't he try to attack the swarm that's attacking him? Yes. Y yes, but... I'm under someone's control. So if the someone, uh, which we will yeah. which hereby start calling <laughs> this someone Alex, decide I'm uh, attacking <laughs> Buckle, then that's... But let's, just a random let's agree that just Alex a is a little biased against roll his own swarm. I'll roll a die. <laughs> <laughs> and a swarm technically, technically is our ally, so... Roll a it's D4. Also on a one through four, they attack the swarm. On a yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so, I'll do the opposite, actually. Um, <laughs> do, do, you, do you want the one on a one or a two, he goes for the swarm? Or on a five or a six, he goes for the swarm? One and two. Low numbers. So, roll only okay. once, please. Okay. Yeah, roll this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I rolled a five. Uh, he goes for a buckle. Okay. okay. Retried. Retried. <laughs> uh, uh, didn't oh. he have some something like he could kind of resist and and? Yeah, I'm roll considering more? that. Uh, so it's basically canceling out that buckle was on the floor because he buckle okay. would take minus five or thing I think to defense. Yeah, and he's so. taking minus five to the attack. So it's just a straight attack. Um, can I uh, go back to my to to when I get attacked? And just like just a little retcon. A uh, kit, as soon as the like the hammer hits her, she says to Grin, I hope that eyeball was tasty. And dies. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually <laughs> Okay. Very important retcon. Because <laughs> you left me to die to eat an eyeball. Uh, if, if he had hit me with that, I would be dead dead. So uh, oh, I'm going to reveal... Tasty and I, <laughs> I regret nothing. I'm going to reveal something that you guys don't know. I would be at know. minus 12 <laughs> right now. I'm going to reveal wow. something that you guys don't know, but Alex just told me in my imagination probably, because that actually <laughs> didn't happen. But if you had mentioned, I have soup! Crimson Void would be Good. up and running again. Yeah. Like full power and all. But you guys. Full energy. Yeah, late, we though. forgot. Yeah. Too late. Sorry, Bucko. I'm I I'm deeply sorry. And I hope I roll Bucko like a natural one. Too. I, Please do. I hope that too. <laughs> you can join Please me on too. the floor. Does yeah, this smell it's of party soup? Down here. I hope you know right. it's not personal. <laughs> roll your attack. 17. Mm. Yeah, that hits. Oh. No, it does not. Damn. No, it doesn't? No, you have Captain D here and he, <gasps> you're using he gives his you defense. more defense. I'm using his defense. Yes. That's right, I forgot about that. Dang. Oh, yeah. yay, because I would have been out. His defense it's is 21, so he, he did hit you last time, but did not this time. Nice. Captain D here on, you, gets in the way, deflects the blow. Thanks, Cap. Yeah. That's, it's just like that that lick, cool you know, with the the bent knee, with the axe, oh, like in the my gosh. in the shield, right above you. Like, I got you. Epic yeah. as heck. Yeah. He can Damn. do this all day. You rule, dude. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of blood coming out of the nose. Can do this all day, <laughs> Captain uh, Dion. I don't want to kill Buckle, but I don't really have much of a problem killing you because I don't really know you, man. So, yeah. Wow. Again, okay. that person. I'm, I'm hurt, but 
I, I, I understand. <laughs> Kit. What a good you're guy. You're down. I'm down. Give me that cool constitution roll. Fortitude, you mean? Constitution. Con like, just straight? Con yeah, it's one of the few roles that is actually just a attribute roll. Um, okay. She's not Go bad, ahead. actually. No, but you have to beat a 15 to stop bleeding. 15? Uh, it's, it's the book rolls, not me. Don't worry, I got you. But <laughs> you only take one damage from bleeding. Okay. Yeah, blame Caldella. Uh, I don't know if so that's just... That's I'm out. Small, but, yeah. <laughs> but technically my al ally is not. Can I do something with my ally? Uh... Sure, Kururu can take a yeah. action. Holy crap. For as Go much as Kururu. I like to call Alex a, a, a mean GM, he really isn't. No, he's <laughs> not at all. <laughs> he really really isn't. Isn't. Well, in that case, Kururu sees that kid's down, and she's going to take the blue stone that Kit gave her. Because she feels so sad, you know? And she's going to cure wounds Kit. That's awesome! <laughs> How do these scrolls work? Do you like? Does it work just like the the spell? Can I spend more mana to do more? Uh, or is it just like one? No. Scrolls, I think they are like locked. I think the scrolls you can, and I think potions are whatever. Potions, you make no, yeah. Oh, it's the other way around. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I think you do make. Kururu does make need to make a mysticism check, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Yes, for scrolls, yeah. Okay. Go, Kururu. You're rolling way better. So I'm the one rolling both dice. But yeah. Um, I'm sure 21 both passes. Both dice. So. Yeah. Okay. And now she will spend two mana. Because that's that's how much she can. But she's going to heal me more. Cause she's Isn't it a little like level three though? No. No. Level two. Okay, Kururu. I to try really try hard tonight. <laughs> I, like I mean, it. Well, you're trying to kill us. Can can yeah, you blame us? <laughs> died. So many. Wait, that was a weird. Yeah, it was two fours because I put an extra. Wait, plus, but what? it was eight, ten. You did two it. fours on the dice. You rolled a zero. <laughs> Something seems oh, no. to be wrong. <laughs> the universe. <laughs> I put two. I put two pluses on the macro. Yeah, guys. That, that's sorry. how you. Yeah, that's how you despise reality. You destroy it. Okay, kids up again. Yay! Yay! Kit, you, you feel something wet on your forehead and you wake up mm. and the kururu has its song on your on your net on your forehead and she like takes it back. Mm. Hello. Mm. Thank you. And you see that the stone in her hand just like turns to sand, bluish sand and just Aww. I don't goes wanna away. go. Says the rush. <laughs> and Kururu is like, uh huh. I'll find you another one. Thank you so much. No problem. Aww. That is Bucko. You're on the floor. I'm gonna get up from the floor then. Cool. Buckle. That's a movement action. Kill me, Bucko. <laughs> Bro, I don't want to do that though. <laughs> uh, is there any way I can grapple him? Grappling him, I think, would give you... You would be unable to attack with his double-handed axe, if I'm not mistaken. I would uh, be... Wait, say that again. No, he would. Let me see. Oh, he would both, be able to attack. Both of so. you would be unable to attack with your two-handed weapons. If okay. you grapple him. But that stops him from attacking me. Or with anybody else, hopefully. Anybody else. Yeah. He can only so. attack with light weapons. Yeah. Um... I'm gonna take that chance, I guess. Cool. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna, contested yeah, melee results. attack. Mm -hmm. Contested melee. Uh, da, 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 yeah. just kill okay, me. Cool. <laughs> and Void no can has do, bro, minus ski. five. He has minus five? Yeah. I have plus Because he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> okay. So just roll melee? Yeah, you both roll melee. All right. Hell yeah. <gasps> yeah. Hell yeah. Yes. Yes. For 
perfect world. I mean, <laughs> if... Let there me, we go. If... You never know. Jiminy Crickets. It was all, but, the, you know, natural <laughs> you 20. Natural 20. Out. But natural 20 beats, natural 19. beats a 19. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It was close. Also, you have a minus five, so it would be less than that. 25. Yeah. So, <sighs> so yeah, you are grappled. Thank Sorry. goodness. I'm just, like, hugging you, pretty much. This is essentially what it was. I just, like, leaned over and just scooped you, and I was like, hey, man, we're just gonna chill here for a bit. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I, I really needed that. You know, sometimes all you need is a hug, you yeah, know? I, I, yeah, yeah, I get you, bro. I got you. Cool. That is time. Uh, okay. Everything's fine, time. Everything's fine. Can... If I want to try to talk to Gaspar, is that my action, or can I do something else on top of that? So it depends. Um, I think by the rules, if you're going to try to make a roll, it should be a centered action to mm -hmm. try and okay. do that. Um, but I've been, I think last time I was allowing um, those, those attempts to be um, oh my god, my brain. Movement actions. Sorry, I remembered in the middle that you forgot to get up and I was like, ah, should I do anything about it? No, whatever. You can fly anyway. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you can you can do it as a movement action, but it, it's either your, your movement or your action. Um, okay, I think I can do it as a movement action because I can still have line of sight to him. Um, and I, I don't think, think you have line of sight to him. You're on the other side of the curtain. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure because I'm just. Yeah. I mean, you can shout it into the. You know. Into the void. Ooh, the void. Shout yeah. Ooh that gives me. That gives me some thoughts. Um, oh, I remember those. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think first, initially, I'm going to quietly look at Gron and just be like, listen. Uh, Maybe perhaps you grab one of the goodies for one of our friends, the, the last real one. And, and if you want to do a little carrier service over to someone. Uh, I'm going to try talking to Gaspar. And if that doesn't work, I'm just going to heal everyone and pray. Cool. <laughs> Good plan. I have one too. Good luck. <laughs> that was <laughs> ominous. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that, but all right. Uh, I and then Kit, uh, Kit, Time is going to do her best um, Mabel impression and try to just, I don't even remember what her voice sounded like, but just call out to Gaspar and just like tell him like, Son, please! It's all an illusion! You you have to see through it! You have to find yourself again! And just do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are you trying to accomplish with that? Like, get him confused? Get him to... Um, get, get him to at least stop hitting us? <laughs> okay. Cool. Give me a performance check. It's okay. gonna get again, gonna be against his will. Performance against his will. Where is my performance? Da, da, da. Okay. Okay, you are the time dice. You are the dice I bought specifically for this character. So roll well. Natural twenty plus eight, nah, so twenty-eight. There you go. <laughs> Finally. <sighs> there it is. <laughs> so Didn't nervous. have many last last session, Guys but this are session. Turning. <laughs> yeah. Uh cool. You see that uh you don't see anything. No, I don't. Uh, uh Bucko, you do see him like kind of seem to stop for a second. Um and looking around and go Mom? Okay. 
Okay. And then I, you're, we're saying I still have an action, so I could use a mana point to do the healing melody again. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll take it. And, and so time will just be like, really quietly just being like, well, I hope that worked. And then just pull out the, like, for loot again and just being like, oh, right, let's try this again. Uh, this is how this went, right? And just plays, plays the little tune. So. Cool. So just, uh, 1d6. And I think I get everybody around us. Yeah, all our friends. So. Yeah, you can do. Yep. Nice. Well, this is this is the retribution for that not twenty. That's not only 20, yeah. two two healing point two points oh, of healing. No. But better than nothing. Yeah. Yep. I'll am take I, it. Am I still friend? Good <sighs> <sighs> question. I think I kind of look at Bucko and just go like, mm, "You're the one holding him." <laughs> Yeah, of course, bro. I got you. I'm just like, oh my god, just kind of like doing this <laughs> little like nice. rocking back and forth to just be like, doo, 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 doo. it's fine, <laughs> it's fine. So it's like, like giant kitten is armor on Crimson Void, and he's just like being lulled to sleep. <laughs> just like, okay, Crimson gets some. Yeah. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> Fools. Full of a dark. <laughs> Full of a buckle. Ah, come on. I tried. So now my mana and HP are level, close. which is they both are three. Just snap out of it at some point. Actually, yeah. uh, but everybody gets those two. Yeah. Uh, That's exactly what I needed to kill everyone. <laughs> that is Bullock. Bullock. Monsieur. Give him a check to see if he realizes Gaspar is like right behind him with a giant mallet. <laughs> uh, oh, the session is doing wonders yeah. to my anxiety. <laughs> cool. So Bullock <laughs> is going to do his little swarms. <laughs> Come on. Couple little swarms here. Uh, and he's gonna do some damage. So five damage to Gaspar. Five? And seven damage to Crimson Void because nobody told him to stop. Oh no, stop. <laughs> seven, seven damage to Crimson Void. You bet. But uh, the, 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 uh, uh, objection, Your Honor. <laughs> hey, if you go, if you go down, you're not going down. I got you, man. I got no, you. No, no, it's not that. Is uh, aren't the insects lethal? Yes. Ah. So, so they deal. They just deal you. you. Do you oh, have just, damage do you... resistance? No, no. I have... No. It's the other thing, <laughs> unfortunately. Wait a second. No. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> Damn it. The math graph showing up. <laughs> <laughs> math is hard. Is that That's why I don't <laughs> bother knowing stuff. <laughs> You okay. stop to think for so hard that the insects miss you, but you also take seven psychic damage. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I can live with that. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> That's grand. Okay, so... Um, is there a place, uh, like a like a place in, in, in the um, stage that Mrs. Ardu usually pops up? Or is it like more random or a it's voice. closer to the center but it's just like from his you know his um right chest up he's not and... technically there just it's, no yeah, it's, it's just his, an illusion like bluish version almost holograph hologram type thing 
Um, oh. and he, it's, yeah. it's the Wizard of Oz. He, you know, he's yeah, hiding behind a curtain somewhere. I do assume, yeah, that he's around. So I yell into the distance. Well, Mrs. Ardu, I have to say, your show's getting a little bit stale. Like, two brutes, really. Artist to an artist. Uh, I just think you should, like, vary your act a little bit. Um, why not take me instead and have a really interesting fight? I won't even resist it if you let my buddy go. <clears throat> okay. Give me a... a... Trickery? <laughs> sure. That can be trickery. Uh, so I rolled twice, right? Mm-hmm. I guess. It's really OP thing going for the whole scene. OP? I spent three fucking mana points to do that. Right? That's it's... nothing. <laughs> Uh, nothing for what? For so three of us went down. <laughs> for the rest of the scene. Okay, that's so nothing. 22. Do you know how 22. much I could heal with those three mana points? Yes, a lot. Like, especially heal me. Five grand's worth of healing. <laughs> five grand's worth of healing. Not yep. grams. Uh, cool. From somewhere, you think you hear some cursing. Okay. Well, just some notes. Uh, do I ha do, do I get uh, mm. any? Uh, do I still have my movement, right? You used e either your movement or your action to do that. Yeah, but I couldn't like grab one of the the sweets. Like I, I'd have to move. You'd have to move one square to grab oh. one of the sweets. Is is the stage There's... also with with dumbbells and stuff? Or yeah. Okay, I'll. Um, can I can I be on the same square that that where there's a, uh, a swarm? Will it hurt me? You can, and can you don't think it will. I, 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 okay, so I'll, I'll. Well, I'm under the swarm now. Um, I feel right at home, <laughs> and I grab a uh, the less. Let's see. Uh, so grabbing a sweet is an <clears throat> action. Oh, right. I stand on top of this. <laughs> cool. Uh, okay. That's Gaspar. Gaspar is just gonna... Right, right on over, walk right on over. I'll say he walks over here. <laughs> uh, natural 20. What? Yeah. So... Did Times thing not do anything? Right, Times thing. Yeah, Times even... thing. <laughs> what what's Times thing? She uh, mimicked his mother's. Oh right, voice. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So it's not an immediate thing. It's kind of like how he was with Bullock. There's like a certain number of sure. successes you have yeah, to but go I, I through. Wanna, I, yeah. I want to know if it did anything because it may inform successes? what I'm doing. I got a natural twenty. <laughs> did it? Did it? No. Okay. <laughs> Let me not. But yeah. yeah. So that'll be so much damage. Oh my god. And then he does a fortitude save. Oh my god, natural one for the fortitude save. Oh. That's bad. Bullock has been Crushed this round. Unalive. Almost. Holy shit, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. okay. Knocked out of the way. Yeah, at least he didn't fly towards like the group. <laughs> he could have played well, yeah. Yeah, that that's that's some bowling alley shit. Yeah, that would have been cool. Didn't think of that too late. Uh Crimson Void. <laughs> Bucko. What's up, bro? <laughs> I have a plan. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no, I, I don't like What's that. What's the plan? The reason I am... The reason I'm not able to control my own body, it's because mm. of all the thoughts. It's, it's the thoughts that are killing me. 
sure, for sure, dude. I need to be able to act by rage. Mm, I don't know that's a solution to your problems, my brother. But, Baku, yeah, hey. listen to me. <laughs> I think an open mind. I right. think my instincts will keep me aligned with our team, and I'll be able to slay that dude. Save, save the dude, save. I, I mean, <laughs> hey, that's not what I know, said. <laughs> I'm, I'm just here holding you, and you know, until you get control back of your body, that's, that's what I'm, it's what I'm gonna do. So you know, you let me know. Fair. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll a d4. That is enraging, though. <laughs> For Crimson, I would assume. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a d4. On a odd number, Crimson is just gonna try to get ungrappled. Okay. On an even number, he's gonna let go of his axe and he's gonna use his one handed weapon. Wait. Which, of course, he a uh, simple weapon. Doesn't he have to weapon. bake yeah, the, so the weapon, though? That's Does a movement action. A yeah, yeah. Hmm. but is it simple? Is it simple? Yeah. Tell me yeah. you have two marshals. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> the morning yeah, star, isn't it? Doesn't it's just you know, it's it's, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a two. Okay. Yeah. Which one Crimson, you let go of your axe, and you're gonna make an attack. Um, against Marco with your mace. <sighs> Damn it. Ah, before you do that, you actually need to roll me a will check. 23! Finally! Finally. Never mind everything I said. You break, cool. break free. Thank God! Oh my <laughs> know, God! Right? Wait, 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 wait. Do I break free? Yeah. Did I, I want did, to? Did, was this wait. before or after I uh, let go of my ex? This is important. No, you didn't let go of your ex. Nice! Can I still act? Yeah, it's your action. I, you, you break free at the top of your round. You break free. <laughs> Bucko! Yes. What's up, my dude? Do not worry. But right. I need you to step aside for a little while. I need to go through the thing. I just, I gotta ask. You know, I gotta ask. If I let you go right now, <laughs> are you gonna attack me or our friends? I'm gonna attack that dude, the big, the big dude. The big dude. The big dude. All right. Oh, we want to save I'm... him, not kill him. Uh, just a reminder. Uh, maybe. I, I mean. He well, said attack, not kill. Go, well, just, uh, just attack. Uh, uh, hear me out. Hear, hear me out. <laughs> While I was under the, the thing's control, mm -hmm. I didn't feel like myself. For me, personally, it's better to be dead than to be under someone else's control. So in a way, whatever happens, I'm saving the dude. No! <laughs> well, if you do knock him out, it'll be easier to take Knock him out, knock him out. I will knock him out. I in a way, Maybe use I will. the flat Not side with of death, right? Not with death, just axe. unconscious. Uh, okay, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my dude. I trust you. Okay, so I wanna. Uh, how 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 do you say it in English? Like the. Vestida. Dash. Oh. Charge. Uh, yes, I wanna charge you, against the dude. You're on um difficult oh, terrain. Oh no, yeah, I'm on a difficult terrain. So I'm gonna uh, calmly walk over here, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to. It's my last two in peace. I'm gonna get enraged. No. Ah, Were you not enraged? Nope. Nope. I am now, baby. Okay. I, I can teach you to despise reality. It's really <laughs> useful. <laughs> nope. I am now. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and hit the dude, but. I wanna deal non-lethal damage. <laughs> it's minus something. I have minus five, I think. Five. Minus five. Yeah. Uh, 
22 minus 5, 17. Does it hit? Oh, it does hit. Nice. Okay. Crimson Void walks towards the, mm. <laughs> the giant dude with a huge mallet. Just swats him with the side of the, the axe right in the face. <laughs> he like stumbles to the side a bit, looks back to Crimson. Kind of scared, kind of angry. Mix you it both. You want to dance, big guy? I have all day. Which is a lie. Crimson Void is almost going down, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the kid, the big kid guy is like, I don't know how to dance. <laughs> <laughs> kid. I need healing, kid. I need healing. I know. I have <laughs> Did you ever so get up, kid? I didn't. I'm still on the floor. Womp. I... <sighs> oh, dang. I can heal you, or I can try to help take a spar off the... of the fight. I can follow time steps. Well, uh, you do whatever you want to do. But remember, Gaspar can take more damage. But the swarms, the swarms are still out there coming for us at every waking second of this miserable existence in the circus. You know, I don't think the swarms are out for us, though. Yeah. Yeah, they're our oh, friends. They're pretty much oh, friends. yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Knock the guy out. We're going to torch this place anyway so that later. Because having him on our side can be good. Could be if we incredibly can do useful, it. yeah. <clears throat> um, sorry, Crimson. I owe you one healing right after this. And I'm going to. I'm going to create on Gaspar's line of sight. I'm going to follow time's footsteps, basically, and create um, an illusion that is both sound and um, visual of oh boy. Mabel LeBlanc right here in front of me. <laughs> and she's going to just basically scold him. She's going to be like, Gaspar, what do you think you're doing? Just drop that right now and come back home. You, you should threaten Right threaten, now. You should threaten him with the with the chanclas. <laughs> yeah. Time it, out. It, it He's works. A child. She takes off her sandals. <laughs> no, not the sandals. Oh boy, oh that, boy. that's a plus five. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the, the wooden right sandals? Now. It's yeah. oh, <laughs> this is a Brazilian game, man. It's it's the Latino culture here. It's it's that's yeah. how it works. Yeah. Grab that Havaian, man. Um, and she's like, "Stop, stop hurting these really nice people and come back home." Actually, help them bring you back home. <laughs> See that? Your mom thinks I'm nice. She actually said I was a very handsome boy, and you were not there to hear that. Come back, I have a bowl of soup waiting for you. No, oh. she did it. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't uh, know cool. why I, I, I cast that as Kururu, but it's it's a skit. It's kid's <laughs> spell. I just used this the wrong like. Oh, okay. It says Kururu and then it says kit. So. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, just yeah, you yeah, probably just did it as good. as if we've done. Yeah, as, yeah, yeah. Down as, there. It's all good. Yeah, I changed it. Uh cool. So he just makes a will save. Yes. Which he failed. Okay. You see, Thank he goodness. go like he goes white. He's holding the mallet, like ready to swing at Crimson. His mom shows up, like right next to him, starts scolding I him. Here. He's like, ah, "Mom, I want soup." Oh, he's a kid. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's another success on you guys. And I'm gonna step backwards just a little bit. I have to get up or crawl. That's true. Oh, 
I'll crawl. Fuck it. <laughs> we have no pride anymore. I have zero pride. <laughs> like we're covered in vomit. I have There's one freaking mana point. I almost died. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> cool. You know the backwards crawl when you don't yeah. like turn the around. You just like the crab walk. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> Amazing. You guys, the top of the round. Try to convince him, guys. He's almost coming with us. I think we can do this. Yeah. Hopefully. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm going to probably try like a diplomacy check or something on Gispar. Oh, but Give me one second. Him. <laughs> then I'm going to move over there. Yeah. So at the top of the round, something happens. Oh. Uh-huh. You guys here are kind of coming from everywhere. <laughs> you guys here are coming from everywhere and nowhere. Fools! Imbeciles! You try to save this prodigy, but he doesn't need to be saved. He's home. These hills hide amazing things and I collect them. I will show them to the world. My shows show the future that I envisioned. A future with the beauties of the Tormenta. Leave the world's strongest man alone and let him be freed from the shackles of his ignorant family who didn't realize what he was. His talents, with me he will be free. He will be Lefeu. And as he says Lefeu, like the, the word really resonates in you guys' head. You guys kind of feel like pressure in your minds. You see and you feel the like energy change around you guys. The the illusions kind of shake and flicker. <laughs> the um, kind of this like reddish, like reddish fog dome around the, the, the space around the, the circus changes. And it goes from this red, complete saturated crimson red to the complete darkness <laughs> all at once. Um, it becomes just like the sky, but even the floor is the sky too. Everything is black and you see the stars twinkling everywhere. Um, you guys hear terrible screams. You hear sounds of things crumbling you're not sure screams everywhere people sounds of people running shouting to each other you can't understand what they're saying things collapsing um you see a tiny red dot in the sky and it grows redder and redder redder and takes everything again a voice booms everywhere the mission is the most important thing. The mission is sacred. Oh, wait, wait a second. Hang on. I am hanging on. <laughs> By a thread. But I do not know why. The mission is the most important thing. All right. The mission is sacred. Uh, that was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> that was pretty. Uh, you guys see um, a superimposed image shows up of just a helmet, a weird helmet. Um, it's kind of golden and it's spherical and it seems to have these cylindrical things on the sides and on the front with these gratings in front and glass inside. You can't see what's inside. Um, And you see, you hear again. You lost your mind. You're not fulfilling the mission. You're not going to want to do more. Um. And. (laughs) That's so cool, man. That's so cool. cool. (laughs) What the fuck? And you see Sardu scream, you see, you guys hear a scream, 
So Mr. Zardu screaming this time. Ah, in frustration. And he appears on the stage. Well, good. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Mark or Zardu. Hi, <laughs> 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 neighbor. Now bring him closer so I can get to him. You don't know which initiative he has yet. Now you can go, Buckle. Don't see him. Uh, I'm gonna. I mean, did we didn't oh, actually is. see him because we are behind the curtains, right? Some of you didn't. I, okay, I mean, I, just time yeah, did. I, <laughs> and me, I'm, is, I'm under the. Thing. Oh yeah, you were under the swarm. And didn't can, see you. question: Can I see him? Is are the blue lines where the curtain is open, or is that just where you can go through? The curtain is now open. Yeah. The blue so lines. The blue lines the show where like the wood ends. So yeah. if you have a line of sight, yeah, you can see him. I mean, there's a bunch okay. of storms in the way, but yeah, you can see him. Well, Yo tengo mechanically, una they don't stop you from seeing. Are the dumbbells still around? <laughs> yes. Uh, mm. This does not sparkle joy. <laughs> <laughs> the dumbbells, as Kururu would tell you, are real. Really. Right. I've been called like worse. This. I'm gonna shoot. Where is Kit? Where are you right now? I don't see. You. I'm under uh, the swarm here. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> I was like, she vanished. Uh, there's <laughs> one of us here. One of us here. Yeah. Okay, you're here. Nat's here. Okay. Yeah. Um. I think I am going to try and move just like a little closer, just to be closer to like the group in general, in case something happens and someone goes down again. Um, but I'm also, I think, going to try to do another diplomacy tech on Gaspar. If that's cool. Another what? Gonna, sorry? Uh, like a diplomacy check on Gaspar to get an. Oh yeah. What do you say to him? Uh, I'm going to I'm going to look at Mr. Zardu and I'm going to go, "You're a coward, bro." And then I'm going to look back at Gaspar and go, "Dude, if you need to be brainwashed in order for like in order to stay someplace, you're not free. Just like by default. That's stupid. You don't want to become a collectible, do you? You're your own dude, dude." Yeah, uh, dude. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, and I'm going to roll Diplomacy, I guess? Sure. Um, Jack, Go, Bucko! I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some t-shirts with Bucko uh, going, You do you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Magic, I've dude. never asked you for anything. Please. <laughs> that Ooh, and the Crimson nice Goats t-shirt. No. We just need an image <laughs> of Bucko going like this. That's all. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, you see... He kind of like looks at you and goes, "Dude, dude." Yeah, dude. yeah and, and his mom is still in front of him <laughs> because, like, it, it, the illusion lasts the scene. And like, I'm assuming it's kind of one of those like holograms, like universal holograms, where they have like this like line that they say. And then it goes back to the beginning, and then they say right. it again and stuff like that. So he's, she's probably back at saying, "I have soup. Let's go home." Yeah. Right. <laughs> I know, mom. Stop saying it over and over. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you the first time, mom. Yeah. <laughs> that dude's so much cooler. I'm gonna go hang out with him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. So that's your movement and your action and your third victory on cool. on conscripting this guy. Sweet. Does not look like he's going to attack Chris Crimson. Wait. <laughs> Coward. Right on. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Whack. <laughs> we need all the allies we can get on this. Do it. Right? <laughs> I dare you. Uh, Do it. Do it. Do it. Bye. Fantastic. All right. Going back to my old favorite. Just filling people with magic arrows. Nice. Uh, no, seriously, do it. Let me see if I want to add 
Oh, I don't know if I can add more MP because I can't just add one more. All right. Uh, yeah, so at that time, just kind of looks at Mr. Zardu and just kind of does a little bit of, like, you're a lot smaller than I thought you'd be. And then... <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Call just small, Get bro. Em. Damn. Then, <laughs> with that, like, still looking at him, but just kind of, like, trying to look as unimpressed as possible, like, shoots, like, like two bolts of energy into his chest. <laughs> Like, do I know you from somewhere? Yeah. Oh yeah, the the fate. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think you know. so. <laughs> so that's seven damage. Ooh, Ooh boy, nice. Right off the bat. And I misspelled damage. <laughs> Demange. 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 <laughs> it's French. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. See, he shows up. Um, yeah. He actually he has illusory compute. copies around him, too. Oh. And they took um, emotional but damage. I hit no matter what. <laughs> but you hit no matter what. <laughs> once, and not only spell. that, but Kururu well, knows what? which one is him. That's true. And <laughs> he gets hit twice. Four, seven points of damage. All right. Okay. You guys can see him. Yep. There's a cool. reason I like this spell. <laughs> Are you staying put? Are you moving? What you doing? You know, this one, I'm, I'm, I'm good with, well. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't think I receive any of the, like, Damn. issues. Did you so know what I, f I forgot just... that I had my spiritual weapon, weapon up when oh, Gaspar shit. hit me. That's it's true. Roll the damage. No. Okay. <laughs> Roll the damage. No. You gotta. Because I can choose. Ah. Ha! <laughs> literally <laughs> whacked you out of this world. Yep. Um, she was okay, unconscious. Not literally, but she had a chance to think safety. about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. Do you still have mana left? Time? Two now, because I got those extra <laughs> from the chocolate the bar. Yeah. And I've only chocolate. done two spells since. I did the healing and I did that. that so. Oh, they're both on MP. That's right. Yeah. Cool. We're level two, Alex. We only have one MP spells. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I, I, I would have done more I, damage. I, 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 if I could have do anything if I, if I could have added one more thing, I would have made it more like the energy spears or like made it three energy arrows or whatever. But I can't I can only do up to two. So I do one. Uh, Bullock just like lost a lot of HP to this guy. So he's going to. Do a couple of insect swarms here. No, we're friends now. It's fine. Stop and it. Roll some damage. Stop. No, wrong guy. Other guy. Other guy. <laughs> um, and you see the swarm just going for Gaspar. He goes, oh, oh, oh. You see, he gets very easily frightened. Oh, poor baby. And, and he also gets up because he was on the floor. Uh, good on. I emerge from the swarm <laughs> dramatically. <laughs> Mess him up. I you decided to show your face, eh? You do a disservice to the Crimson Storm. How oh, gauche. And I cast Mind Dagger. I want to do a perception check to know if I heard that. Just kidding. I, I'm not paying attention, even if I was. Uh, yeah, Will and I'll roll the thingy. Hey. Mr. Zardu. Media man. We Can will I take do it. any of the... Uh, no. not, not the useful ones. Yeah, he fails. Ooh, nice. <clears throat> he's stunned. And he's stunned if he's not immune. Is he? I don't think he is. You tell me. But I'll check it. Should know that. But that's uh, end of your turn, yeah? Um, yep. 
Okay. Should I? Nah. Go ahead. Famous Brings last words. To Gaspar. Gaspar. He hasn't really been given instructions. And there's a guy attacking him with his swarms. He's gonna attack the guy. Ha! Coward. Bleed from me. Oh my god. Um. Don't we technically have to save them both? Yeah. We failed on one. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the dude. Come on. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Look is down and is not looking good. No. Only Crimson mm. Void sees this, by the way. Gets like smashed into the wall. Boom! And just like is there, sitting in the crumbled piece of wall. How is his beard, though? Uh, I will say that the swarms dissipate. No! Uh, no, no, no. Can no, we assume no, that? No, 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 no. I needed the swarms, that man. I really needed it. Uh, you deleted me. You deleted my token. <laughs> and we lost one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. No. There we go. There goes my strategy. Kid oh, dissipates. damn. Uh, okay. That is Crimson Void. Um, I have a question. Is the whole stage a difficult terrain or just the backstage? Both. Mm. Yes. Oh, I needed the swarm so much, so much. Fine. Yeah, Alex <laughs> knew what he was doing. That's why he did it. He was like, <laughs> I legitimately didn't, but. I'm excited ah, to see your mind. Ah. Okay. Every time you can walk six. Uh, okay. Um. You can try to get move more with an acrobatics check to move his full your full movement. But I would need. Uh, don't I have to move uh, on a straight line to do that? No, you still can't do a charge, but you can no, move no, no, all I, your squares. I don't. I don't want to do a charge. I um, think running is still um, no. straight line. No, isn't it? I don't think so. You can use your action to keep moving more. That's actually what I was going to do. Unless I can pass. Uh, it's uh, athletics, isn't it? Acrobatics. Acrobatics um, check. Are you sure? It's acrobatics. I think it's athletics. <laughs> For, for it's acrobatics, terrain. but you do have you do have acrobatics. a bonus because you know it's real and not an illusion. Yeah, but my acrobatics is sh not great. Uh, the uh, hmm. I mean, no man, it's athletics. It's it's he it's here a page uh, to two thirty five. 35 of what? Of the the, the book, the, the rule which, book. W which, which edition? <laughs> the, the game of the year. But anyway, uh, running is a complete action. So I, I, it, I can't benefit from running and still have the regular action anyway. Yeah. So... So I'm just going to walk. Yeah. Twice. Here on the on the book for Gaspar's effect it says acrobatics, but if you want to do athletics, I'll, I'll I, I, I won't do either. I'm just gonna use two movement actions to come here. That's it. That's okay. what I can do. And okay. unless someone or something causes damage or any hostile effect to me. My rage is gonna dissipate, and oh, I that's don't have why enough. You needed the <laughs> and I don't have enough MP to cast it again. So, Dang. my plan was slash the insects and walk. Now I don't have the insects, so good luck, everyone. Can you slap, uh, the floor? slap me? <laughs> <With your hand. laughs> 
I don't have uh, yeah. I don't have an action to do that. Yeah, so right. yeah, that's it. I I mean the 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 turn have hasn't ended yet. <laughs> cool. Um, well, it will <laughs> right now. <laughs> no, it starts on your turn and then up. You know. But right. he cast rage the last turn. Previously. But he attacked last turn. I attacked last. Yeah. Turn. He was fine till now. So, now exactly. Until his so next now turn, it's gonna... something needs to happen. Right, 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 right. Mm, Someone yeah. needs to smack. Uh... Uh, so I forgot to put his turn for you, but you didn't do anything much anyway. So he's just gonna take his turn now. His turn. Uh, can you? Do you have the the dazed confusion there? Um, effect. He's not dazed. Uh, he's you can stunned. See... Right. Stunned. Yeah, it's not it's dazed. Not stunned. stunned. It's stunned. Well, so I mean, he can't. He can't do anything. If he passed, he would be no. It's just kind of stunned. He, he can't perform actions. Only reactions. Mm-hmm. <coughs> that really sucks. For you. For you. <laughs> For you. So that screams the void, and then that's I Michael. Mean, uh, I translate it as stunned. Let me. But. Pretty sure it's stunned. Um, Pretty sure it is. There's a translation on the on the on the character sheet. So it's stunned. Yeah, it is. Um, uh, yeah. Paco, the floor is littered with weights. Um, mm. There are some little sweets on the stage floating around. Some of them, right. you know, are aware are illusions. Doesn't mean they won't have effects. What have? Oh, question. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but uh, because you deleted my token, you deleted my initiative in the little watch, oh, and I was? come after. I'm I'm after uh, Crimson. Uh, yeah, I was like the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was six, it's right, or something. Yep, yeah, six. seven. I don't know. Yeah. Apologize like, for that. <laughs> it's all good. That's I mean, you now. Didn't do anything anyway, so okay. I'm gonna slap Crimson. I yeah. No, <laughs> I promised Crimson I was gonna heal him, so. I, I'm gonna. I am a woman of my word, and I'm gonna heal him. And that's guys. That's my last MP. I'm at zero. As a note, uh, Kururu still has one. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. Block. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh, uh, this is me. As Kit, Kit would be healing. You can heal. Go for like no meta gaming. Yeah. <laughs> heal. <laughs> Doesn't count, but it would be fine. Cool. Seventeen. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Wait, you do three? Wow. Oh yeah, you do yeah. because of the thing. Yep. I have a holy symbol. Dang. <laughs> That's so much HP. I don't know. Yeah, I'm slightly above halfway. <laughs> That's so cool. But thanks, because Crimson was going down. Like, yeah. You touch the kitten's skin of your friend and impart him with healing magic from your god. This. And you're like, well, is this even going to work? And you see him start to perk. He's like, you know, bending a little bit at the waist with the axe on the floor. And you see him perk up, hold his axe in both hands. Nice. And uh, Ramon said that the last MP deserves a name. So, Greg, <laughs> Greg, you served me well. Thank that. you so much. Um, <laughs> thank you, Greg. Oh, I'm thank you, Greg. Forget Greg. That. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Cool, Bucko. Uh, hi. <laughs> um, I mean, do you need me to smack you? <laughs> I love that. Uh, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to answer that because so many jokes right now oh, and none oh, of them oh. appropriate. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm so sorry. I forgot that I'm going to definitely move out of the way behind the curtain. Very, very hidden and probably crouching. Mm. Actually, I, I still haven't gotten up. So actually, I am crouching. <laughs> so Goblin road. <laughs> just going to crawl. <laughs> yeah. It's like putting some uh, weights on top of you. See if you can hide. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I touch like crimson calf or something to kill him and then I like yeah. crawl out yeah. of the way. I find it funny that before 
when, when, when it, the buckles turn started, Alex was like, buckle, so you have the weights, you have the sweets. And I was like, okay, so is buckle going to carbo load and, you know, <laughs> do some exercises or what? <laughs> Just do a pause in for a brief workout. <sighs> Don't mind me. <laughs> we we do weight lifting with a cake, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I'm going to mm, walk to here, oh, I suppose, and throw a throwing axe at Mr. Zardu. Ooh. Some shit. Go. Cool. If, if that's allowed. Uh, uh, this. I'll um, allow so it. <laughs> uh. There's a 19 hit. Where is this? Sorry, give me one second. You're supposed to have the thing. Uh oh, okay, I see. Yes, it hits. Cool. Well, is it only it's uh only do you not add your strength bonus to You should. Yeah. Uh oh, uh just Controls, and that's just yeah. my strength? Yeah, yeah four plus your strength. Damage. Four plus so it's four plus four, so it's eight. Hey. Eight it's damage. better than four. Damage. Yeah. It's starting I'm to look smart. pretty bad. <sighs> God. Sweet. It's Oop. starting to look pretty bad. Time. Uh, I think Time's gonna like look at that last sweet for like a hot second and go, meh. And just. <laughs> There's, four. <laughs> There's four left. Yeah, oh, but we know that there's only one and three of illusions. That doesn't mean yeah. they won't have effects, though. Yeah. Mm. I think she considers it and just goes, mm, and just <laughs> two more arrows. Pew pew. Pew pew. Eh. Well, my thing wants to be weird and won't let me click on the spell. There we go. But I know the damage. I've done it enough. Uh, ooh, double two, so. Four plus another two, so six damage. Cool. So Zardu hasn't even had a chance to act yet, <laughs> but nice. has already taken a truckload of damage. Nice. Hell yeah. That's See it. <laughs> Take another two hits. Ah! Screaming with his hands on his head. A tiny axe hit, 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 like, hanging from his clothes that hit him. <laughs> um, Bullock will roll a death save. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, none of us know that he's even out. Nope. I mean, well, we imagine the swarms went out. Yeah, that's true. The swarms went away. Yeah, but the swarms went away. I think it's not that hard to make the connection. He fails. Uh oh. oh he takes ooh, he takes the full six damage. Oh damn. Okay. We're uh, a little Bron. busy. Yeah. It's looking rough, right? He's not looking great. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Run, yeah. little red boy. I cast Mind Dagger at him. Right. Uh, he doesn't get stunned again, mm -hmm. anyway. For the Just once per scene. Mm -hmm. Just okay. for damage. But he saves anyway. Oh, so he takes two damage. Uh, seeing that um, he was ready this time, I will spend my last two mana points. Um, what, are, what are the name of the twins? Korak and Karak. So Korak and Karak are going to award me. Oh, yeah. Despise reality. And I will 
say, okay, my job's done here. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, uh, watch out. Six. If you need, if you move all six, you need to do a check. No, he despises reality. He despises reality, so never I. mind me. <laughs> so this my Mr. Zardu's turn. On his turn, he like screams as a good villain that he is. He screams, Enough! Yeah, tell and us all your secret plan. Do your monologue. <laughs> Already. Did. Already. Yeah, that's well. true, he did. Uh. I want to know who hit the head of us. The helmet. He disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. And around the stage, four copies of him appear. Great. Yeah. <sighs> um, just going to move him around. Today's the day the DM is actively playing against me. Because all of my <laughs> strategies are being crushed, oh, much like my dreams and hopes for the future. Just a mm. reminder that Kururu still has her vision up. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, that one, and that one, yeah. and that one. <laughs> mm. Beeny, <laughs> beeny, <laughs> miny, mo. He looks around, tries to see who seems to be the most dangerous. Who has dealt him the most damage? Looks at the tiny fairy, Go takes away. something out of his pocket, <laughs> goes like this, it lights up. You immediately realize it's a grenade. Holy shit. He oh, no. Blows it, throws it your way. Um, but we know which one of the copies is throwing it. <laughs> or are they all doing all insane? All of them. All of them. Oh, all of them yeah. Mm. Uh, time. I need you to tell me if you think that it's real or an illusion. I think it's an illusion because everything's fake here. <laughs> okay. You can roll either reflexes or will oh, to reflex. try and save from this. This is an amazing... Natural 20! Okay. <laughs> uh, I hope you chose right, though. <laughs> yeah. You chose poorly. Okay. So you take 2d6 damage. Oh. Yeah, Even with bad. my natural 20? Especially... Yeah, instead of 4d6 damage. Mm. Oh, dang. All right. Roll up. Um, and... Take six damage. Okay. Already rolled two d six instead of four d six, so you take six damage. Great. I'm at negative two. I am unconscious. Gosh darn it. Yep. And Zardu like brings his cape around and goes <laughs> with a villainous laugh. I'd roll my eyes, but I'm unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> Gaspar comes running out, <gasps> looking around. Doesn't know what to do. Someone Agnes tell him what to do, dude. Crimson yeah, boy. the cool guy told you to, to attack the. <laughs> I have a question, and I will accept the answer that the DM gives me, even if the answer is you cannot know that until you try. Just to be clear, uh, if I hit an illusion and it's not the real dude, does it still count as attacking someone for the purpose of keeping my rage active? Yes. All right. It's a, All right. It's a hostile. The, 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 the strategy is back on, but, guys. But nobody attacked you since your last turn, right? Yes, so it's, a, it's off. Until the so you lose your rage. Damn it. Sorry, me. Uh, Forgot about that. It's fine. 
You know what's funny? I was going to slap Gran. Like I had already <laughs> put the attack on my on my character sheet, the slap of ten thousand red suns. Uh, I guess I would <laughs> not. This is why I moved. I guess I would not be needing it. It's it's like one d three damage plus the strength. Uh, yeah, <laughs> probably would have caused some real you damage know. on yourself. But you could, it's could all, drop him. It's, I mean, you could miss because I'm despising reality. But if you hit, I'd be. I could miss, but let's really be real. I, I wouldn't because you wouldn't. Crimson <laughs> Void is uh, unlike me. It's, he's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, okay, so um. I'm calm, I'm cool, but I'm still gonna try to commit a violence against one, two, three, I'm here. No, actually. Well, since Bucko is already up there, I'll, I'll come here, I'll attack this dude, and maybe if it's not the real dude, I'll attack the dude downstairs. Downstairs, there's no stairs. Downstairs. Down there. Uh, save left, save right. Just cool. Yeah. Just. All right. 21. The hits? Seven damage. That's very shameful, but it's better than nothing. And if it's not the real guy, the illusion's gonna drop. So, poof. Yay. You walk up to the. To the Mr. Zardu copy. <laughs> this like giant kid in his armor. I just keep seeing that. Like, man, the guy just going, <sighs> you just hear the sound, you don't see his face, you know, like his mouth or anything. And it just goes, whack! You, just, you hit, go straight, straight through, and you hit the ground, it cracks the ground, and the illusion poof, disappears. Good. Okay. One down. Only three left. That's Kit. Kit gets up. <laughs> <laughs> it was bound to happen eventually. Eventually, well, yeah. At some point. <laughs> and one, wait, one, two, three, four. That's half my movement. Actually, no. Sorry. I'm here. Let me look at Kuruduz. And I'm like, hey, there's nothing else I can do. I already spent Greg. I mean, <laughs> I'm <so> tired. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm good. I'm sorry, Zach, if that's not something you would do, but I am in a crunch here and there are people dying. Kururu is going to look at Kit and give her her mana essence as a gift. So Kuru goes, you can drink it. <gasps> Kuru is the best, man. She's, she's, she's awesome. the best. Yeah. You're looking a little tired. I am. Thank you. <laughs> Have an energy drink. Um, <laughs> it, I, I, technically, I can't. Can I drink it right now? No, right? I can just grab it. Uh, Yeah, you can drink it. Okay, yay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to drink it. Please be good. I, I, uh, mm, that is definitely from the purple emporium. Oh, no, why? <laughs> Someone, I mean, I mean, yep. no, those are the best products out there. What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> well, I have one MP, it's one person I can heal eventually at some point. Bullock is down, not right now. Yeah, Bullock and time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. So, um, top of the round. You were behind a curtain, me. so I don't know which one you know Kid. is down. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Top uh, of the round. Can, can Kururu? Ah, uh, Kururu is behind the curtain. Let's you know that mind. NPCs don't have like negative hit points like we do. You know, right? They're, like he's. <laughs> no, he's a special uh, NPC though. He's a special <laughs> NPC, and we're gonna go ahead and take our break. Oh, oh no. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll be right back. Back in 10 minutes. We'll see you soon. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'll know if you do. Pray for us. Life. But also stretch and hydrate. Yes. 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 And the duck said, yeah, I'm a duck. 
<laughs> so good, isn't it? That's so, so funny. Sure. <laughs> Such a jerk. Uh, anyways, we're back. Uh, that's the top of the round. And with oh, no. that, we have Bucko. Oh, I should have spent break thinking about my turn. <laughs> 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 Instead, I was eating stroop waffles. Uh, um, Important. Oh, that's Look, um, good thank choice. you for reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Not a bad use of a time. Mm -mm. I am. Um, uh, mm, I would go for Zardu, but time is down. So I'm gonna. Can I just walk over to her and bring her back? Do you have enough? I think so. Do so I have to especially go, because do I have to Gaspar, go around. Gaspar? No. No. You can go through Gaspar. No. Yeah. So I can do one. He's an ally now. Two. Mm -hmm. Three. That's amazing. Oh, it and better be. Uh, healing herbs time, which is 2d6. Well, hello. <laughs> I put the slash in the wrong place. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Nice. See Big that? money. Buckle walks over, um, slaps his hands, got a little bit of static. Electricity in his fur and goes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Time you are prone, but you are back. I think I just kind of time just kind of lays there for a minute and just goes. So I guess that one was real. All right. Oh, goodness gracious. Isn't isn't <laughs> it a complete action though? Ooh. Oh. Sorry. So I can't take a movement. Is that what that uh, that's means? true? Ah. Shoot. It means you Sorry. need to walk over there and do something like eat a sweet or something, and then next turn you can try that. <sighs> sure, that I'll eat I go. a sweet. <clears throat> Time's got the chocolate on her, right? Uh, she, ate she ate the there's chocolate. She ate the chocolate. There's a cake, there's uh, a cake. She, she got the chocolate in her. What, what, <laughs> it's what, in her tummy. Which ones are real that are still around? The so there's gone. four still around. One of them is real, two, uh, three are illusory. Okay. Uh, the illusory ones are the sugary canapé, the Valkyria marzipan, and the circus ring cake. Uh, and left is the meringue is real. Meringue mm -hmm. with colorful sprinkles. 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 Sprinkles on a meringue. All right. Yeah, well. that's weird. <laughs> I'm that's gonna so try like, it. You who know? puts eggplant on a sweet? Our illusions. Sure. That sounded but that good. is an illusion, though. That is an illusion. Mm -hmm. The sprinkles uh, wouldn't bake well because it would melt. So I'm very confused right now. Or you put sprinkles on afterwards, something. but it, well, they wouldn't but it's stick. But it's not gonna stick. Yeah. yeah, no, they wouldn't stick because it would be fully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mighty show. If it's like a like a Swiss meringue that hasn't been like maybe like, that's like true. Buttercream more yeah. like yeah, but then yeah, but then it's not anyway. Then it it's would just move like on. marshmallowy I, I, and the illusory yeah. ones yeah. might do something if you know they're illusory, right? We don't them, know. Like I, don't I know. said, <laughs> them being that's something Kururu said you guys. If them being illusory right, doesn't mean they don't the have an effect. I'm gonna the eggplant one. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> eggplant one is the sugary canapé roll. We'll save. Da, 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 da. Will. Uh, I don't add much to that. Ten! <laughs> so, Dang. Because you know it's an illusion, you, you just... Just make it. Pass. Oh, <gasps> nice. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Went for the canopy. <laughs> okay. So... Mm -hmm. um, until the end of the scene, you can re-roll any one check that you make. So you can choose to have advantage on something. Okay. Which is actually even better than advantage because it's like you can choose to re-roll it. Kind of, it's yeah. kind of like having lo the lucky feat once, the lucky mm -hmm. power. Nice. Okay. All right. For free. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Cool. That's my turn. So, yeah, so this is this applies to. D20s, obviously, um, but it, it any like attacks are checks, so they're, you can reroll an attack if you want. Cool. Time, we're back to that constitution save. Actually, and I think it's the first time you roll, but 
Yeah, no, the last time I went straight back up, so. Uh, ooh. 17. Minus one, so 16? You stabilize. <gasps> nice. <clears throat> not dying. So you don't take bleeding damage, you're not dying. Woo. Unless somebody explodes you or something. Uh, Bullock. Nice. Oof. Natural 20. Hey! Also Bullock. stabilizes. Thank goodness. Grunt. Uh, I, um, don't know what I, <laughs> um, I don't think I, I can do anything. <laughs> what do you like, mean? You need a treat? I feel I you, man. I don't have any mana. I don't do attacks. You can eat a sweet. Yeah, eat a sweet. I have. I don't know if I'm gonna, you know, lose the last one, and I don't want to waste a sweet. Mm. You might actually use if I have nothing else to do. Uh, I, I think I'll. You know what? I'm just gonna talk some shit to him. Come over <sighs> that, here. Uh, that's do, always do fun. I, do I see him? <laughs> There's plenty of There's copies of him. Three of them. There's also a Gaspar with nothing to do on the stage. Uh, oh, I can't. I can't move and move back because yeah, not oh, really. Uh, yeah. But well, yeah, fuck it. Tell uh, Gaspar. I come here. What? Tell Gaspar to yeah, do talk something. Gaspar. <laughs> oh, can I? Oh, there is something I, I can do. Um. Can I use a mysticism check to see which one is the real one? Hmm. You may. Okay. Um. Twenty-six. Damn. Nice. Yeah. Let me check something. That's the sound I of can a see spells. I think I can like identify spells, something like that. So I'll tell you what. Um, I'll let you do a mysticism check to point to try to see if one of them is the real one or not. Cool. Oh. I mean, we have um, three and uh, one in three chances. So right, I wanna check this one, which is the closest to the others. Thing. This guy here yeah, in the, the on one, the bottom? On the bottom, yeah. Uh, that's an illusion. I point that out. Cool. Not that one, Gaspar. Go up. Oh, well, not up. Go right. <laughs> Stage right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, sweet. That's Mr. Zardu. <laughs> <laughs> At the top of his round, what does he do? Dies. <laughs> Accidentally drops all his illusion. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Oh, so many cool effects. I don't like that All right. either. Let's try this one. Um, Crimson. Yes. See, all the illusions look at you, all the copies look at you, and they go, Don't get near me! Ah! And he slaps and makes like this, and a hole opens up behind you. And you fall. Um, give me a will save. Is this a Tormenta effect? No. 
Are you sure? <laughs> Is this a effect from a follower of a hard deck? Uh, it is. Does that matter for you? I don't know if for him, for me, definitely does. <laughs> I mean, I, I have plus five on resisting effects from Lefeu, but if it's not Lefeu, <coughs> and if the effect is not from the Tormenta, from then... Lefeu and Tormenta, yeah. Yeah, Lefeu and Tormenta, so if this so... is an effect from the Tormenta or something like that, but... Sorry. Yeah, don't think no, I didn't didn't think so. Will, right? Will. Uh, Twenty one. <gasps> Oof. Nice that roll. That passes. Um wow, unexpected. You you see the hole behind uh, below you. Whoop. You just look down, look up at him. It's like Nice. <laughs> I got the ace of hearts, man. <laughs> Uh, that I actually he's... just randomly grabbed from the deck. So. Damn. <laughs> he grunts frustrated in frustration. And I guess he's going to throw a bomb at you. Um, oh, do you think it is... Yeah. Do you think it is no. uh, real or illusion? Okay. Crimson does not think either way. So it, it, <laughs> it it's real for him. Let's be, let's be honest. He has two... Attacks? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. She's Louise. He has two effects. He has an attack and an effect every turn. Last turn he Damn. separated into four copies. This turn he did the whole, which I really hope somebody would fall. Damn it! It's so cartoonish. <laughs> um, but if, cool. if it's cartoonish, but you don't look down, you don't fall into it. So. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's why. The will, that's why. The will save was just him not looking down like Coyote. Yeah. I learned yeah. that from Tiny Toons. They teach it at the <laughs> yeah. to university. Or university, yeah. University. Great attention. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he did so his bombs, homework. Bombs is what? Reflexes? It's a reflexes or willpower save. Reflex if you think it's real. Is that it? Yeah. It doesn't you think really it's matter. real? Oh, yeah, I do. So you can only do reflexes. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. It's the same bonus, despite the fact that I'm not trained on reflexes. 23. <gasps> Ooh, it saves. The crimson is back, baby. Ooh, but that's... Okay. Roll two sixes. So that's 12 damage. Uh, it ha does it have that or 12 12? No, it's 12. It's supposed to be four d6s. I rolled two d6s. And they both cool. came up six? They both came up six. They did. Brutal. That's why you should roll the four d6s and take the average. Are you sure? The, the, the half. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, mean, the chances it, of you taking two more d6s uh, sixes on the d6 is lower. That's true. So half is going to be lower. Yeah, like, you know? I'm not going to ask for you to do this that's on fair. this round. You do it if you want. But in yeah. general, you roll in the general, full damage. Five. And you have it. And then you yeah. five. Exactly. And a three. Okay, so eight. See? So See? 20. So 10 damage instead of 12. Better than 12. Which is hey, better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in general, yeah, that's that's what one should be Yeah, you be have doing. it. Cool. Uh, Gaspar heard... <laughs> Stage right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, man! You've been on the circus. You're, you're, you're in the showbiz. Yeah. He was gonna roll. <laughs> Knowledge check. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Round and point as well. <laughs> there, there, not there. there. <laughs> he failed, so I'm gonna roll a d4 to see which direction he goes. So odds, he goes okay. up, and even he goes down. Even he goes down. <laughs> Oh, can I? I tried. At least he's How attacking one of them. The other right! <laughs> the other right! Um, attacks the illusionary copy and dissipates it. Okay. Thanks for confirming what, what I said. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Just gives you a thumbs up. Uh, but all jokes aside, he looks pretty scared. Poor Aww. baby. Uh, Crimson Boy. It's uh, all difficult terrain, you said, right? 
You betcha. Oh, he ignores mm -hmm. difficult terrain, the, uh, the big guy? He does. Nice. Yeah, Which but I don't. useful if he went to the right side, yeah. <laughs> 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 That was funny. But at least he can dash, like like not dash, like charge back. Take he it. can, yeah. That's nice. good. Uh give me give me one second, please. I need to finish thinking. Give me two crank. <laughs> Cranked it. Yeah, I was picturing like yeah, sure, a loading. Like Yeah. <laughs> Beach okay. ball of death. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh... Uh... Since I, I I can only walk half my my speed, uh, I'm gonna come here, and I'm going to have a flashback. Flashback. <laughs> Back then, Bucko <laughs> threw his axe. I will do that too. <laughs> With your actual axe. <laughs> well, Bucko's axe was also an actual axe. But it was a throwing axe. It Mine was, was a, throwing a throwing axe. axe. Every axe is a throwing axe if you throw if hard you throw enough. It. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I don't know. I guess. Look, he's done that to great effect. Um, Mr. Mr. Void, by the way, um, you lose your kidness armor. If I'm oh, correct. Okay, so I don't have an armor as well. No. Yeah, because you blew up your. <laughs> you ejected your armor. <laughs> Guys, for the first time in a long, long, long time, you have less Void. defense than me. Uh, than you currently, yes. Uh, Crimson Void is below 20 defense. Uh, just a little, yes. but below <laughs> 20 defense. You guys see this kitten, this armor dude walking around these weights, and then suddenly the ki kitten just like kitten just goes back inside his skin in a very disgusting way. Well, yeah, and he's also very is, naked, yeah. beautiful. Well, the only thing that I can uh, think <laughs> of is Zoinberg when he <laughs> comes out of his shell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so and he's I like mean, all pink and squishy. Not not as squishy as Zoidberg because Crimson Void is probably you know a very fit guy. Mm. But True. yeah, totally. he he is very naked though. So everyone is seeing the the, the void kid, the the kid Crimson. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw the kid covers yeah, Kuru's eyes. I mean, <laughs> <you're>, <laughs> It's, it's it's just it's just a it's just a, a, a dude. There's nothing weird hey, about it. It's just bodies, honestly. dude. It's just no bodies. Shame exactly. In that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, you I'm do you. The X. It's uh, yeah. that'll be aim, right? Instead of melee. That'll be aim. It's not a throwable a weapon with the throwing property, so you have a minus five. But yep, you bet. Yeah. I believe in you. It, I, I just have to say that uh, how fucking cool it is that you're throwing your battle axe. <laughs> it's not the first time he's done it. Again. Too. It's not even yeah. the first time. Yeah. <laughs> the first time you killed an orc that way, by the way. Arsenal. The first time one of our party Bless members me. <laughs> died trying to retrieve it. Arsenal, <laughs> if it's your will that I kill this dude with this type of maneuver you guide it so 16 because minus does he get a naked bonus <laughs> <laughs> Zardu goes no what are you doing <laughs> uh, it's a dong bonus 16 dong bonus uh 16 does not hit oh, you're so oh. That's is that with the plus one uh, but it doesn't matter yeah does not hit that's cool it's okay uh, how do you think he would have thrown it? Like, in a more um, careful way? As in, like, oh, if I miss or anything, it stays kind of roughly where I'm throwing? Or, like, he's trying to throw that through the guy? No. Uh, probably through the guy. Like, 
He's not if thinking. If anything, he'll angle to hit both legs. Yeah, he's <laughs> not which thinking. One, and which one did you throw at? Bottom or top? Oh, I didn't know I had an option. I threw. I, if I have an option, I would throw it on the top one because the bottom one I can deal with later. Yeah, I would say like a. Is there a, a it would be like a that? short range, right? Uh, I think probably. it's a short range. Let, let me way, double yeah. check. It is. Uh, Nine meters is short. Technically. Yeah. Nine point one, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you if you Come draw on. a circle, he the, the, a tiny bit of the square would still be in the circle, so it it, it yeah. usually counts. I'll allow it. It's all good. It's all good. It's but it still miss. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's at the very edge too. So that's okay. Just roll a um. Let me roll it. I'm gonna roll a d10. Okay, your axe <clears> is right here. Okay, sounds good. Nice. Crimson boy will retreat. Crimson yeah, boy. That's, that's it for now. I walked and the I only thing threw I can the do. axe. <laughs> oh, we left, we cried, we died. <laughs> Not dead yet. <laughs> Kit. Yet being the opposite. Hit me. Hey. Kit is gonna poke her head out. <laughs> Of the curtains, do I need to cross it to to see, or can I just literally? Oh, the curtains poke? are out, are open. Okay, so I can like see it from here, for instance. Yeah, yeah. So you can see both, both of them from there. Yeah, Kururu and I walk over here, and now Kururu can see them. So can she tell which one is the real one? Uh, yes. It's the one closest to crimson, surprisingly. Yes. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Um, to I didn't. One, two, one, didn't two three, four. That's <laughs> the amount of. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> Astro, that was the he one was there. was there, right? <laughs> yeah. He just never moved. I was yeah, like, no, I, I was like, I mean, he's that. in the same spot. He's just got the Illusions. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Illusions, father. They're not tricks. This is a reference for someone out there who watches the series. Uh, mm. Brick. And I'm thinking. Give me one second. The X. Just saw mm -hmm. the X over there. I mean, if you have any way to pull up time. Look, I'm a oh, terrible yeah. drawer. Okay? I no, it's I, I only have four movement because of the rough terrain. Yeah. Just bring uh, it down squares. so they can see on the streets. So, <laughs> I I moved half my. I'm my movement. Use either Kur Kuru's spells or use. Um, Kuru doesn't have any, um, like, ranged attack spells. No, she doesn't have any, like, uh, all her spells are like. Do you still cute. have your, like, spiritual <laughs> weapon up? I do, but it's not, it's not like DD spiritual weapon, it's a, a protective spiritual oh, okay. weapon. She has uh, one and then hovers damaging spell her. from one scroll. From yeah, from scroll, exactly. But like, um, I don't know if I wanna. I'm, I mean, run. Yeah. You know. No. I've what? seen you be set on fire before and not get hurt, right? Oh no! Do it. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, Psst, come on. Because it's a cone, and I. Oh, go ahead. Pretty sure go ahead. that. Grun is in the cone, but if I angle it out of crimsons. No, 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 no. Bad. Just do it. Okay, well, Why Kuru is going to use her stone for a flaming explosion. Flame explosion. Okay. Fire doesn't hurt me, little one. Go ahead. So... She still grabs the rock and goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I just. Go. So it's a flame explosion. I don't have the because it, it was a scroll. I don't have, but it's basically like a cone of flames that uh, shoot from your hands, causing two d six um, fire damage. What's the distance from the cone? Um, it's six meters. You have to move. Not quite close enough. I well, I could. It could Where be like here. Mm. No? 
That's like. Can you move one to the to to to? to yeah, stage? I can. I just wanted to stay. Right. Yeah, I know. Behind just... the curtains. Not that he's seeing me necessarily, but. Yeah, that just grad catches him in there. Yeah. Okay. And she's gonna, cause she has a bunch of mana, cause Kururu has a shit ton of mana. Nice. She's gonna use one extra MP to do one extra D6. So it's three D6. Right? Yes. Roll high, but not too high. <laughs> <laughs> 13. But like, <laughs> I feel like now that I'm closer, I can't, ang uh, Kururu can probably angle it that you're not in the in the cone because it so, starts like one square uh, and then it opens up, that, right? That it? But if I, I have to it. choose, if she has to choose between no, 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 go, go, go crimson go and grass, well, I'll survive it. I'll, I'll she survive would probably it either way. even if I fail, I'll survive it. Mm -hmm. She can angle it without getting grass. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, <laughs> and it's reflexes. His reflexes can half it, and her DC is. 16. Oh, 16? Mm hmm. Yeah. He saves. Okay, so it's uh, six damage. Six Fire. damage. Ooh. I hope he's looking yeah. bad. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> close. So close. Oh, <laughs> See, he goes. Man. Fools! You will never catch Mr. Zadu! He <laughs> <laughs> starts putting out the fire. The other copy disappears. Nice. Uh, cool. Guessing that's your turn? Mm hmm. That's Bucko. Finish him, Bucko. Uh, well, I'm, I've got to bring him back time. I'm not yeah, and close the enough distance to too. I am yeah. stable, but yeah, you're not close enough. No, to, yeah. But I'm not, I, and I couldn't get close enough because that was my last throwing axe. I you're right. Have Bring back time. That's more one. important. So I'm if, gonna... the power of friendship. No. If Gron <laughs> doesn't finish him, I will. I um, might have something up. You will. <laughs> Are we going with the nine that I you're rolled previously, or just rolling yeah, sure. One? Okay, you can keep that. Yeah. Nice. Bring it back up for nine. So you're back Yee. up to seven HP. Nice. Yee. And you can take down the mana point too. Yes. If it takes mana. It does. Finish him it time. Takes one. So you bring Fine. me back. I think that's my turn now. <laughs> yep. You still have to get up though. Okay. Or not. If you I don't know if I have to. She I think time yeah. just, just kind of wakes up and just goes, oh, we're doing this twice in one day. Oh. <laughs> All right, and I'm assuming Zodu looks very, very bloody and charred and bad looking. <laughs> and so I'm just going to be like, well, I was kind of saving this because I'm basically out of energy, but let's just try this one more time. And Hi. one more time. One more time. See, see, one see. more time. Hey. Hey. <laughs> da, 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 one da, more da. time. <laughs> Nice. Finish him! Infallible yeah. arrows. Make him feel the end. All right. It does not fail. Yeah. Work with me, folks. Two ones. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, oh, that's four it's points of four damage. damage. That, I think four. that's enough. I'm hoping it's enough. You never know. Time. Um... Do you get up too, or do you stay on the No, floor? I think I'm just looking at him and I'm dismissively like... Go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm done. Like, Two little bolts of energy. <laughs> tiny little bolts of energy come out of the hands of this tiny fairy. <laughs> Swirl around Bucko, around in between Kit and Crimson Void. And right as Zardu is starting to conjure something bigger, or, or easy, or maybe it's an illusion. All the, his illusions are flickering. The sky is flickering between black and starry and red. And um, the stage is flickering between jungle vines and fire. And like the weights are like glitching on the floor. Um, candies are showing up and disappearing. 
and all of this is going on and, and, and freaking out and the, and the audience is like at the edge of their seats just like ha, ha, ha. those two little bolts of energy hit him <laughs> right in the in his the middle of his chest and um you hear kind of a hollow sound and he goes no wait he goes No! <laughs> Just because I can. Nice. It's <laughs> amazing. Uh, and he falls face first on the floor. And as like, he does. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, I'd like to say that when Crimson Void sees this, he looks back at time. I don't know if you guys ever watched One Piece or read the manga. But like the the shiny big eyes that Tony Tony Shopper does when he sees something really cool, that's how Crimson Void is looking at time like now. Like that was the coolest thing he've ever seen in his life. Such a tiny fairy killing the dude that was causing us so much trouble. And he's like, hell yeah! <laughs> that's the person that I want on my on my team. <laughs> And almost as a glitch, all the illusions start phasing out. Yes, um, yes. You guys look around and start realizing it's actually everything's very mundane here. Like you, you guys look up and you see the dwarf that greeted you guys, Ralphus. He's just up there and he was like grabbing another weight to throw down. And he's like, uh oh. Um, you see there were some vines hanging um, the fire wasn't real at all um, the illusionary candies do disappear now you see that the audience is like yeah what the what what's happening <laughs> where are we like there's they wake up from their spell the tents you you know you used to look at the tents and see this like um, reddish light from within showing these weird shadows inside and stuff and they stop and you guys do see light coming from within and something steering in the tents but some people start to walk out but they all seem like tentative and, and worried looking uh, we're out of initiative okay Good. <laughs> question I've never cared for the circus Thank you. um the illusory um Candy disappeared, but there's still one that's not there's illusory, one still right? There, that's there. Yeah, there is still that? one that is. Can I get, get it? Get the other guy. The other guy is down there, inside, <laughs> bleeding. Who cares? Oh, oh okay. The guy I go to the fair? candy first. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, yes, priorities. Go okay, go. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll go ten to the. Okay. Uh, there's a moment of tension as you go. You're not sure. You you don't yeah, know that he's stable. I run with you. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the weights are real, so you do have to go. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> uh, but you get there, this and he, he's very, very hurt. Okay. Um, this guy, this dude is only alive because he had over sixty HP. Whoa. Because I'm his, glad we didn't have to kill him. He's yeah. at would minus. Be... He's at minus um, twenty two. Holy! But he is stable. But just so you know, mind you, uh, Kid is also looking very rough, like very rough. Oh, all She's of you like, guys are looking very rough. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't know. I'm some more yeah. than others. I'm cool. I was saving my Most last MP you... to heal again, and then was just like, no, no, it looks like he's low enough. We're just gonna <laughs> end it. I still have like 12 HP. Like, I can, I can. Deal. I can do this like three times and still be fine. No, just oh kidding. Oh my god. Crimson Void is going to uh, dress himself up again in his armor because that's important. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to I'm go sorry. check on Duke the Goat, the Goat Duke. Man. And Very important. I, I understand. Yes, I agree. And then he's going to go back to his friends or the friends that are reunited in some way, and he's gonna say priorities. And the, the goat first. Yeah, because I mean, everyone is moving, everyone is here, everyone's participating. The goat is probably terrified. 
uh, uh, Crimson didn't teach Fair. the goat how to fight yet. Fair. They will know, but not yet. Anyway, uh, then he's going to go back to his friends, to his party, and he's going to say, This place was touched by the Tormenta. We should take everyone that's innocent out of here. Yes. But I will set this place ablaze because I think it's important that it dies, that the place itself dies in a way that only our world can kill it. This will be can one I... of the, the few places where it's not the Tormenta killing Arton. It's Arton, our fire, killing the Tormenta. And then he's going to grab his axe before I forget about that. <laughs> uh, can I can I make a oh, yeah. maybe religion check to see if what he's saying could actually work? And if that should worry me? It's just uh, a Crimson Void doesn't think this affects the torment. It's just a symbol. It's just a way of him to say this is our world winning this time. That's that's all it is. Still, you do you, uh, man. I kind of, I kind of have to, you know. You do Give you, me man. A check just for fun. I am gonna go get my throwing axe back. Sure. If, if uh, it's around. <laughs> Thirteen. You flip him over. Uh, Zardus of scrawny, although tall, very lanky old man. Hmm. Um. I mean, not old. He's like, um, oh my god, yeah, he's not that old. He's maybe in his fifties. Oh. Uh, which for medieval stuff is pretty old. Uh, uh, I don't. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna save Greg because he has a name now. <laughs> um, and instead so of healing, uh, Bullock, I'm gonna just. Patch him up with a medic kit. Medic kit. Um, Kururu will heal him with okay. her last rock. Uh, she's gonna okay. spend two MP to do that. If you don't mind rolling for her. No, yeah. Where is Kururu? S Kururu. Roll two D eight. Two D eight plus. No, plus, no like three, right? Three. Three. Three D eight plus eight three. Plus three. So, is the second time I roll 17 on my... Yes, it is. 17. Damn. Um, is he still not up, right? Because he was like enough. minus 20. Um, it's not yeah. enough to bring him back. <laughs> no. But at that least he, he won't die. And it's fine. Yeah. I, I will do my healing check. Um, never know. Maybe. I know he, he, he needs to do 35. It's really good. Oh, for him to recover more? Okay. Yeah, later. Uh, and I'm gonna ask for help, like Captain Dehan's help to like carry him. And I wanna, I really wanna inspect the body though. I really wanna see if I find anything, anything like um, the bullock body. Severia, no, the <laughs> Zardul. Oh, okay. Zardul's. I moved. Uh, yeah, I wanna see, see if I find anything like Severian related, anything Brotherhood uh, related, mainly, and like anything like that. Okay, uh, give me an investigation check. As you are like helping Bullock with Kururu, you see that actually Captain Dehian go goes back there too, mm -hmm. um, and you ask him to carry Bullock, and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of course, and he, like he probably grabs. <laughs> probably, I'm grabs... actually really good at this, but I rolled a two. Can I Aww. can I help her out since I'm right there? Uh, sure. Just make your own. You can make no your own. Help me out. Too. Just make your I'll own. Make my yeah. own roll. Mm -hmm. um, no, help me out. Perception or you see that now that they found yes. Bullock, they're mm -hmm. very much invested in that. Like they already oh, feel rolling. like detached from the group in a way. Didn't help. That's fine. Uh, can I be there with them and Bullock? And how is his beard? Mm. Gone. Completely gone. No, no insects. The insects like dispersed. They just flew out, and you can still I, see some. Can I grab some? Yeah. Uh, give me, I don't know, reflex saves. Uh, checks. <laughs> um, 
ชนิดชูเฮาโอเคอ่าโรลล์ที่เจนก็เดี๋ยวกลับมาเนี่ยกราฟทรีนั่นจะเป็นเรื่องดีมากขอบคุณอืมไอ้พวกเดิมในวิลล์ของไอ้อัลกิมิสกิทใช่โอเคอ่าอินสเปคติ้งอืมบอดี้ใช่มันรุนแรงใช่เราทำได้ไม่ดีเลยอืม The first thing you see and kind of takes your attention is that in the middle of his chest, right where Thyme hit, is a device embedded in his body, um, circular kind of. Um, it has it's metallic out, outside, and then has this kind of like whitish dial with little like um, etching, not etchings, but like little. Markings, black markings, all kind of pointing towards the middle. Um, and you're not sure what it is. There's like a glass that used to protect it too, but that's broken. You're not sure if it's time that just broke it or. Um, Have I ever seen anything like that before? Can we dig it out? Um, you can dig it out. It's embedded in his body, but you can. Uh, you can uh, give out, me a out. knowledge check. I'm also technically really good at this, but no. you're not. You're really not. <laughs> you're really not. <laughs> Only once. <laughs> you have no idea what this is. Can I? I have no out? idea what this is. <laughs> I'm gonna look over the sh- <laughs> can, can shoulder. Can I inspect also it as well? Try to do. Yeah, I'm also do- gonna do a knowledge check. Uh, time can do a knowledge check. Grunt can also do a knowledge check. What code would say it's time? Uh, okay. Fifteen. Pulls it out of him. I'm assuming inspiration has ended now. Inspiration, yeah, all effects have ended now. Oh, We're so moving. technically twenty-two. <laughs> yeah. Wait, uh, not the soup, though. Not the soup. Oh, the soup. Speaking of soup, mm. I I still have soup. Nice. Give it to me. Everybody still has soup. I wonder. Somebody gonna, has a I'm, lot of soup somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna take my soup, and I'm gonna go to Gaspar, and I'm gonna be like, "I know you're scared, um, but everything's fine now. We're gonna take you home. We're gonna see your mom, and your siblings, and everything's gonna be okay." And I give him the soup, my soup, one of my soups. You see, he's left his <laughs> mallet on the floor. He's sitting down, crying. Yeah, I'm trying uh, to like console him and like so calm to him point. down. <laughs> um, probably, actually, he would have crawled back here and seen that his mom disappeared, mm. and he would be just like crying, like. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, go try to. F- and you give him the soup, and he's so if like, he looks at you with like completely different look, and so I'm so sorry, I hate you. It was <laughs> funny when you flew. I'm sorry. <laughs> It was funny though. It was. It was. Well, I I see her grabbing her money. soup and not giving it to me, which I find like it's a bad move, like a f- really bad faux pas. But I, I I'm gonna drink some of my soup because why not? <laughs> sure. Uh, before I forget, twenty three knowledge. Uh, and let me write down a soup. One more soup for Mister. I think it's the ninth one, but I'm not sure. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> how, how many do I have to teach? Like, you don't know. <laughs> I, hope it's, I hope it's something closer to ten or fifteen than twenty or something. <laughs> but we'll get um, <laughs> Bron, you have seen this. It's a weird device to see broken and stripped bare like this. It's missing. Two very important components: the, import, the components that actually tell time on a watch. Um, it's a very high technology thing in this world, a watch. And oh. um, you've only seen it because you lived in Victoria, which is like a, the flying city 
where everything that is new and avant-garde is there. You know, it only because you lived there do you know what this is. Even time doesn't know what this is, and she also lived there for a bit. Different circles, probably, but <laughs> different circles. It's, you said it's You'd missing the, the hands, right? <laughs> It's missing the the hands, okay. arms or whatever they're called. It's hands, hands, yeah. or is that arms? Um, but I mean, it, it, is it like working? Like it's is it workable? Like the glass is broken. Put... It's missing the the things and it's broken. Mm. Uh, I don't I don't have I don't think we have the tools to fix this. But I can put it it's actually a very ingenious to device. It. Well, I mean, do I sense any magic f coming from it? Give me a mysticism check. 24. <clears throat> no. Uh, I can't, can you I think? Can... Okay, no, go ahead. With this, with this higher roll, I can tell you it used to be, but mm. it has not been in a while. So it... that, that leads you to think that it was has been broken for a while. Cool. But is there any chance that I think... That it could become magical again? If you imparted magic, if you made it a new magical item, yes. But like whatever property was there is gone. It's gone. Okay. Um, ah, one cool. piece of of um, uh, description I forgot. When Tordu first showed up on the stage and like all those, the surroundings were changing and stuff, you guys were hearing clicking noises, which now you realize were clock noises. Hmm. I think we best keep this. This. I don't know. I would yeah, like. I don't to... necessarily want to leave it laying around. I can yeah. put it in my bag. I uh, would. Can I? Can I have it so I can try to fix it? Yeah. I okay. Think I've seen them okay. open before. So, I wanted to ask for a perception check. Because to see if Crimson Void will find it suspicious that Bran is so interested in the watch and in repairing it. This is what I was going to ask. I'm going to change this asking for still a perception role. You see can probably see my... How suspicious it is, because it's definitely sus. Like, that's, that's going to happen because of the second part. He asked for it. So, can I roll a perception check to determine how... how can I give I you a bonus? My clothes are burned, but not my secret symbol. Um, you've been... Actually, you were on fire a lot of this time. <laughs> Uh, I'm yeah, probably like roll, naked from the waist up. Okay. You can roll either perception to like see the symbol or insight to like get his get the gist. And I too see if I notice the symbol. Yeah, I think I've I've seen it before. You've seen it. I should. Yeah, I've seen it before. Never I think mind. Simon's the one that's seen it. Yeah, I don't think. No, it, I've seen. Yeah, I've seen it before. Kit, sorry. Yeah. yeah, like anyone I, can roll to see. By the way, I think it's just. I mean, I would say it's out there, but I I don't want to just give. I'm suspicious, away. but to be a hundred percent fair, because it's the game, uh, I don't think Crimson Void would recognize the Eye of a Harodak as a symbol. He knows the Tormenta. He knows what it is. He knows what it represents, but he doesn't know much about symbols and religion in general yet. So. Yeah. Unless the DM wants to give me a justification for him knowing, which I don't think you would or should, I need to be 100% fair. I don't think Crimson Void would recognize the eye just as a symbol. Coming from a religion a, and see if, if, you know, coming from, a, from a tribe, you know, in the mountains, which is a pretty isolated thing. Um, and worshiping just like the one god and your life not really being about the worship but more about the becoming stronger for your god type of um type of fervor you know yeah i would say if you don't think he knows the symbol then he doesn't know yeah. the symbol but um as like a as like a 
symbol of worship for a horror deck, right? But definitely, it, it's evocative of Tormenta regardless. You ruled pretty bad for intuition right now, but keep that in mind. Like, you already have a clue, you know? Let's remember yeah. that for next time. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep that in mind. But like I said, I don't think he would re know that this is a religious symbol of any kind. The Crimson Void is nowhere near smart enough to associate one thing with, with the other. Especially not like, with the It's a red eye. <laughs> you can put two and two together, but then you can't. <laughs> Especially with the symbiote taking out some of your <laughs> yeah. intelligence. Yeah. Well, um, okay. While all of this is happening, um, I'm sorry. I one think... second. Grun, give me yes. an investigation too, for when you were messing okay. around with Zerdu. Go ahead, Nigel. Yeah. No, I think uh, Kit would be like trying to talk to the people Tough. that were sitting on the audience, trying to like, hey, um. You guys were taken by this really mean guy and everything's going to be okay. We're going to take you back to your homes or maybe you'll find your way yourselves and or you can go to Fort Hammerhead with us, but everything's going to be fine. Just no panic. And I'm trying to like kind of organize everybody, but I'm going to turn to the group and I'm going to be, I think we should still um, look inside the tents and see everything we can find there are the the treasure chests inside uh, backstage and yeah, we should check everything yes, I, i'll just check. help with keeping people organized and calm and maybe we see if we can set up something outside of the circus where people can rest for the night until the morning that's a good idea i would love some rest <laughs> i would like to get out of here as quickly as possible you could definitely use yes. a wink Okay. We okay. Do that. Can we do like a group investigation check? Just uh, scavenge the. Just no need. The whole everything and circus. No need. Uh, okay. So, Brun, I'll say you find on Zardu a piece of paper. Hmm. Uh, on the piece of paper. On the piece of paper. Oh, here it is. Um, you find this. Mm. I'll just read it out loud. <laughs> uh, it kind of breaks on over here, but uh, yeah, if you don't mind reading it out loud. This world already knows paradise. They are arriving little by little. But they are being fought. Mortals, mortal fools, do not recognize the blessing they are receiving. This is my duty. Travel to these ignorant kingdoms, these backward lands, and show the wonder of the tormented. Show them what we saw when we were blessed. I know I had another task, but it doesn't matter anymore. Could it be that each of us has been given a new mission? Did the others know their mission as I did, in sudden enlightenment? To this day I wonder where each of them is. Our bond is eternal for what we have seen and for what we have lived. And then there's a break, is that it? Uh, Sivarin, uh, yeah, he like scratched really hard something in the middle. Uh, so, Sivarin can, came to find me. He told me that some undesirables should be removed from here and brought up the name of the LeBlanc family. Poor fool, he still thinks small. He's still stuck in the memories we experienced before in our other lives. But there is something sacred about our re reunion. After so many years apart, me and him in, the, in these hills at the same time, this has a meaning. And the meaning is only one. The Crimson Storm is arriving. Now that's a name. Dun dun dun. Hi. Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> the Crimson Storm. I, I we, we, keep we, that page. 
Do you read it out loud? I do. Okay. We cannot allow it to arrive. So the Brotherhood had something to do with this. It's connected to this. I mean... Uh, Kids, you never gave me the diplomacy check, if you don't mind. Oh. I'll help her with that. I am so bad at this today. Oh, I'm oh. off my game. Um, Nothing's going great. I mean, most of you her. have been have blacked out during this fight, guys. Like, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's the second two. I take. I, I roll. Like. I think it's the third, right? Uh, I rolled a two. Then I rolled a one. Oh, then right, I rolled a two. <laughs> you know what we should do when we eventually, hopefully, play a in-person session. Every time someone rolls a one, we take a shot. <laughs> oh, hey. That yes. will end. I can provide. Awesomely. I can provide the alcohol. Uh, I am cool. So tiny. <laughs> I, cannot, I could not. You, it, 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 it's just, it's a, a shot, shot of water. water. It's sister. a shot of whatever you want to drink, <laughs> yeah. even if it's water. That's fine. A shot fine. of water. Juice, a shot of drink whatever. a shot of something. Sweet soda. <laughs> well, yeah. I am not tiny. And I'm still like very uh, lightweight. <laughs> Just I, yeah, no, times. I'm definitely a lightweight. Yeah. But I don't drink much, so I, it does. It takes about two sips of wine for me to go. Ooh, yep. I'm, I'm <laughs> same. <fun>. Same. <laughs> great time. Great time. Whoa. So then one actual shot, and then the rest just shots of water, so you stay hydrated. Yeah, that's there you go. I'll probably just do hits off a joint. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Look into that. I have a stoner reputation to maintain. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you will never interpret <laughs> Buckle better than yeah. that. That is that true. Yeah. You're going to have to make sure it's a very yep. RP heavy session. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, you see, as you, you know, you and. and um, and get together time, you, you together are able to calm down the people here. There's some adults. It looked like their clothes aren't fancy or anything. These were peasants from somewhere um, that were taken. There are other, some other people. You see that some of them have started to show some mutations. Um, stepping out of the tents, you see um, Korak and Karak coming out of the first tent here on, on the bottom. You see a very elegant elven woman full of tattoos on her body uh, stepping out of a, one of the tents as well. Um, you see a swarm of tiny little creatures. You can't really see what they are flying out of another one of the tents, but like um, kind of tentatively as well. Like they're not like or anything. It's just like they're flying out and just like, and you see like some of them are talking amongst themselves, and you can't you really can't tell what they are from from back at the stage. Um, and you see another woman, drag. Uh, they're dressed with um, ragged animal skin. Uh, walking out of her tent. She also seems to have some um, mon monstrous um, transformations going on, but doesn't seem as transformed as the other people that were on stage, some of the attractions. Maybe, maybe she was on her way to becoming an attraction. Um, before we stop for the night, I mean, we can still keep going if you guys want to like close it out. Uh, um, I have just one more thing that I want to do, but please finish what same. you're saying. There's one yeah. thing I know you guys want to do, which is to roll treasure. Ooh. Oh. 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 I didn't think about <laughs> that at all, but thank you. We'll actually have money. Oh yeah, money. What's that? <laughs> Maybe. Um, uh, somebody needs to roll a d100. Definitely not me. Another <laughs> somebody you. needs to roll another d100. Mm, I think the person I... who dealt the last blow rolls at cool. least one. I was gonna say Definitely. I've been rolling actually decently today. Okay, I'll roll so. just because it can't be worse than one, right? 
<laughs> it, no, Funny. not worse. <laughs> it yeah. can be exactly one. <laughs> I think I did Rolling this correctly. On Let's one. find out. You definitely want to oh, roll Oh, hey! High. 81! Oh. And 82! Wow. Ah. Nice! Damn! I hope it's a box of Crimson Goats t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that for free. Want to trade the 82 for that? No. Yes. No. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> All right. But just saying, Crimson Storms... Or Storm is cooler than Crimson Goats. Yeah, yeah but it, I, I will not use the name of the damn Tormentor. Can, like the, the, can the it be of the, of the Storm? No. Fair, can fair, it fair. be? Can it be a, a box of shirts like I came? I came to Zardu Circus and all I got was his, <laughs> his, his lousy t-shirt. t-shirt. <laughs> I, can be, yeah, I came to Zardu Circus and, <laughs> and all I got was some trauma and this t-shirt. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. <laughs> and burns. Parentheses and some and trauma. burns. <laughs> you guys find in one of the chests there's like a bunch of shirts with some of these like funny sayings awesome. that he that he they workshopped, but they gave up on it. They're, they're all bad, uh, but you can choose which one. I you put have. one up because I'm naked, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's now canon. <laughs> oh go. my god. I'll toss the rest of them in my bag. Why not? <laughs> we have extra Amazing. I like, I like oh, to right? imagine Gran yeah. walking around with a with a white t shirt. Oversized t shirt. Yes. Number, number, number one grandma or something like that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh um, my god. I need a f- I need to draw that. Like it's up. So you rolled eighty one. Yeah. Nice. Uh, roll 2d4. Me? You bet. Or if you wanted somebody else to roll. but yeah, bet someone else. I already rolled the 100. Someone else rolled the d4s. Uh, how, how, how many d4s? Two. 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 Can I? Yeah, yeah please. Two d4. No, not... Yeah, it's... I attack Three. Gran, like for real. Roll initiative. <laughs> that will not stand. That's, yeah. Could be worse. Well, 81, 82, 1, 2, that's kind of a critical. <laughs> hey. Um, no. Nah. <laughs> that times 100 is what you find in Tibars. So 300 Tibars. Ooh. For five people? That's like 60. <laughs> Each. Well. <laughs> I'm trying to give you guys money, but you just keep rolling so fine? bad. Uh, 100 divided by. Cool. Oh, you're not splitting it with Captain D and Kudu. Yeah. They go like, no, you guys already f- like helped us find our friend. Like, Damn right we did. We're good. We we we, we, came... we appreciate it. <laughs> like. <laughs> Damn right you are good. <laughs> uh, they're like really happy to find Bullock. Uh, and then you also find for the 82, you find a potion, which I'm going to need you to roll. Can I roll alchemy? Oh, you're not rolling anything, man. <laughs> uh, one potion. I think it's a hundred too. Let me just find the damn table here. One second. <laughs> Oh, potions. Here they are. Uh, yeah, give me a D100 roll. Somebody. Doesn't need to be uh, time, but can can be as well if she wants to. Uh, Victor or Giselle? And you're muted, since... by the way, time. Oh. You're muted, yeah. Sorry, roommate came back into the room. Uh, Victor, Giselle, you want to roll? No, not particular. <laughs> not particularly. <laughs> sure, but you might regret it. <laughs> it's fine. It's a potion. It can't be like bad. Yeah. <laughs> it can be better. Don't say that but now. It can be better too. <laughs> no, G- Giselle's uh, dying to roll a D D D one Am I? Lucky says it, but he's pretty. Hey! Like, oh, oh! 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, What up? There we go. Ooh! <laughs> Synergy. Okay. Dig it. You find a potion, which you don't know what it is yet. Actually, just <laughs> can tell I? You. Yeah, sure. Ah! <laughs> uh, uh, alchemy or, or mysticism? I have no idea which one is. Uh, for, it can be either. I can try it if either. you want. Want me to drink so, it? Yeah. I'll drink it. No, no stop it. No, 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 look at it. Tell us what it does. Uh, mysticism then Let is a little better. Oof. Let me 
See it's what a my potion. Is. Oh, it's a potion. Very helpful. It, it exists. Let me. It hey. Hey. There, there you go. go. It is a potion of divine voice. Oh, it makes sense. Nice. The divine potion hey. and the religious person. Yeah, for sure. I look at the potion. What does it do? Yeah, what I was gonna do? say, what does it do? This first? looks it's like divine. a potion That's why that I didn't can get it. allow you to talk to any type of creature. Oh, nice. Animal, or construct, or spirit, or monster. Anything. So I can scare them. Cool. Uh, no, this feels like sure. maybe a kit or a time thing. No, definitely. I'm just joking. <laughs> why I can scare them. In why don't ways. we have Kit hold on to it for now since I can already talk to animals? I can use this uh, potion sure. to talk to Duke, the goat, the do goat Duke, and teach him how to fight. It is oh, the size I can do it. A translator. Like, because yeah, you said you, already talk because to back, back at the farm, you said you didn't want it. I think at this point, I finally walk um, over to Duke, the goat, the goat Duke. I'm respecting your boundaries. And just be like, apologies for not talking to you sooner. I just needed to make sure you survived this whole thing. Nice to meet you. Nice Bad. to meet you, my child. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sir, be I know you can actually talk to me. You have cognizance. You have reality. We'll, we'll get through this. Why can I understand you? <laughs> because I'm special. So you should be very nice to me. <laughs> Why am I making sense? Be uh, not afraid, my child. Yeah. <laughs> for I bless all my creation. This is Crimson Void. <laughs> like over there, like in the back. He's going yeah. to try to teach you how to like, fight. Oh. <laughs> if this is not something you want to consent to, inform me now and I will sneak you back into the farm and we'll find another goat who does want to fight. Yeah, I mean, Cr Crimson's not going to force the goat if the goat doesn't want to, but... Yeah. It's like, Consent is important, kids. Yeah. The goat's like, I don't want to go back to the farm. There's way more grass outside of the farm. That is a fact. And it's great. I didn't understand that, but what, sure. What, what, what is it saying? <laughs> what is he saying? He's so like, excited ah. to learn how to fight. He's also very excited for very good grass, so I suggest we look for very green pastures. Only the forward. best for my... Yeah, I'm always down for some good grass. <laughs> fair. That was, that Very was, fair. That was Which weird. reminds me, and I grab my alchemy <laughs> kit. Want some? <laughs> and I mean, after all this, what is it? You got it. You got it. I mean, yeah. Oh, God. Maybe we can so move everybody out of the circus, and then we're sitting by the fire. You see, one of the peasants was walking in, a, in the direction like, yeah, you know what? I'm not, uh, like the other one's like, Jonathan. It's like, oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna bore anybody with this because we can just have like a, a Spark Notes version. But at some point, kids probably gonna want to um, talk to the people that were in the tents, the like semi mutants, and like just oh yeah, try to gather every single piece of information she can get. From can I can I help her it, assist her in like not using words like semi mutants to my fellow? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say yes. that. I, I, Natalia is saying that. Kit I, wouldn't no, say no, that. No, no, it's just a uh, yeah, just you know. <laughs> Kit. Time is trying to figure out what the swarm of little somethings were. You come closer to them, and there's actually. Um, more than just a swarm of little things, there's a swarm of things, and they're all terrible, terrible experiments. Like, you see, oh. the one that takes the front is a tiny fly with a human. Oh, but no. It's a fly with a tiny human head. Come on, uh, Lucky. It's your time to shine. No, it's not. That's my father <laughs> you're talking about. Man. It's your father, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and he takes the front and he goes, were you, were you guys the ones that, that took down Mr. Zatu? Yes. Amazing. We were. Yes, we did. I never wanted anything different than you doing this voice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Leonel regretted so bad doing this so voice. So bad. <laughs> he regretted it because people started drawing the, the, the fly with his hand. That's why he regrets yeah. it. And it's yeah. the funniest oh, shit ever. The guy invents 
these <laughs> insectoid monsters from another reality. How did he not expect that one day his head would end up, end up in an insectoid creature? Like, yeah. Anyways, it was amazing. He ended up on the opening on the the the, the intro, and it was my fault that it happened, and I regret nothing. <laughs> yeah. As you should. You should not. Yeah. As you should not. Uh, but yeah. So you see, they're pretty glad, but they're like these crazy mutants, like a, a you know a, a dog with a head of a snake and like a snake with a, a head of some other animal. It's like a bunch of combinations that don't make any sense. Heads shrunk and way too big, you know, and and they're all just these crazy mutation creatures, um, experiments basically, as you can see. Um, yeah, you see that you know, Crack and Karok. They walk out tentatively and, and they come to the hybrids and, and they're kind of like all they're they're kind of like a group. Um, the elven lady kind of stays near her tent and is more like tentative. Um, Crimson actually give me a knowledge check. I don't have I don't have the the. the yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't like to do like six intelligence attribute straight attribute checks. Six six. Um, looking at the woman in the animal rags, you don't recognize her, but you do recognize that she is a, bar a barbarian. She's also carrying an axe, actually. Um, she does have mutations. And, uh, and she kind of clocks you, too. Like, she goes, like, you know, the nod of, like, yeah, you're a, you're a warrior. Yeah, of course. Um, but she looks kind of, kind of scared in a way, like very tentative. And all. everybody's just like trying to check out what the hell is going on because they were stuck here, as you guys. Yeah. Know. Okay. Uh, in this situation, I'm gonna go talk to her, and I'm gonna say this kind of out loud so every other person affected by this circus, the experiments, everyone that are within your shot can hear, and I'll tell her. I can see that you have suffered things that no one should suffer. I can see that you have gone through things that no one should go through. I don't have answers for why any of this happened. And I don't know how this is going to end one day. But I know this. And then I point to my my uh, thing is that I forgot the name. Uh, Scales? Yes. We should never be ashamed of who we are. And if anyone wants to be a weapon against this cursed storm, they might join us. At the Hammerhead Fourth Port, sorry, because we must show them that we are bigger than they are. We must show them that we are stronger than they are. And by Arsenal and by all the other gods, Arton will prevail. Um, you see, they, they were already like organized and, and, you know, especially the peasants were, were kind of like, as soon as somebody started like organizing something, they fell in line because they, they just wanted some semblance of order and like peace. But the people that, um, suffered transformations were way more tentative and uh, scared, traumatized really. Right. Um, and as you say that, you, you see that like purpose starts clicking in some of their faces, in, especially the, the barbarian lady. She looks at you like respect immediately. And she goes, she walks to you. You see now she walks closer. She has horns. Some of her, the fur on her is actually hers. Uh, and she, she also has some more lizardy scales too 
on another like you know like one shoulder has four the other has like some lizard scales um and she walks over to you with Dax on the left hand, um, not too dissimilar to yours, and she just extends the hand to do like the, yeah, the yeah. grab thing like this, and she goes, "I'm Verda. I am Crimson Void." And you like? And yeah, Crimson Void treats her as hundred percent an equal. That's that's what she is. He didn't see her fight, but he knows it's the, on the same level. Your guess is that she's probably from one of the, if not from your tribe, which was pretty big, kind of big, or um, one of the closer ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's probably from the Howling Mountains as well, basically. Okay. I would like to do something else before we uh, finish. At some point, it doesn't have to be at this very moment. It can be on the way back to the fort or something. Uh, Crimson Void would like to approach Thyme. And he's gonna look at her and say, small one, I know we had our differences recently and I will always respect you for not understanding the way that I see the world. But I think this mission was a way of Arsenal to teach me that if I want to be a good soldier, I need to be able to work as a team. I need to be able to understand the abilities that every one of my friends have and complement them and make them help them to always do their best because this way they will always help me do my best. And you pack a mean punch, little one. You know, and I try. Yeah. I hope we can do many great things together. Time. I hope so too, Crimson. She's like hovering, but she kind of like just shoulder checks you a little bit as she walks by and just says, French. All right. <laughs> He's gonna listen to you more from now on, just so you know. <laughs> I have a question. Um, yep. And depending on the answer, I have something I wanted to do. Are we leveling up after this? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, I So, at some point during the night, wherever we camp or anything, uh, Gran would go away from his friends into any secluded place from where he could see the sky. He would sit down grab his holy symbol, press against his, against his forehead, and say, Lord, have you seen it? Have you seen what the storm has become in this world? This is not the way. They're not ever going to accept us this way. Your own children turning one after the other against you. Heed me. Let me change their minds. Let me lead. Let me make them understand. And I take the uh, vial with the insects, uncork it, and cope it. Mm. <laughs> and I become a swarm of insects and crawl back towards the night. Nice. 
Kill them all. <laughs> Um, as you check the insect, <laughs> you like feel your body start dissociating, and it's a it's a discombobulating moment for you. It's like you wanted a blessing, but you didn't know to expect this, <laughs> um, and kind of like um, what's the name from from. God damn it, I don't even remember the name of the, the comics. But the comics you showed me, because only years ago they made the movies and the series recently about the blue guy that super blue powerful. Beetle? The tech? Uh, Watchmen? Watchmen? Watchmen, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not like, the tech. A lot of blue, guy, blue guys, so. <laughs> yeah, call him yeah. Dr. Manhattan. Not the blue man group either. The tech is the my blue favorite guy. Guy. projecting. <laughs> <laughs> the naked blue guy, yes. Yes, that's Yeah, nice. that one. <laughs> that one. Oh, the naked blue guy. Uh, so when he transforms, it's kind of the same thing. Like he first is destroyed, but then he's not really destroyed. It just takes a while to re re like realize how to reconfigure himself um, into existence. And it's kind of the same to you. You become a swarm and you just go... <laughs> and your little clothes lie there for a second. And it takes a while for you to go like, fuck, I'm many you now. <coughs> um, but that's okay. That's what we, we are. are. Uh, like when you coalesce back into naked like Dr. Manhattan naked <laughs> coalesce back into Gran and you're like not even close to her clothes or where it takes you a while to find them again and like but you find them I'm not gonna do that to you <laughs> thank well, you yeah. but you just takes a while for you to come back I come back with a leaf <laughs> yeah. ah he's just trying to prevent his timely death on the hands of her I get oh it. yes, I am. <laughs> I get it. Cool. Uh, so just to put things in order here of timeline, you guys kind of organize everybody, and you know, you already said that you were going to bring everybody out of the circus and to torch the circus. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, before you do that, obviously there's a bunch of crates and chests, and you look for everything there. One more thing you guys find is. Um, six things actually, six crystal balls. The palantir are dangerous. Cover it. Um, so let me just write it down here. So don't forget. But yeah, you find six oh. crystal balls. Um, any of the casters grabbing them know that they're magical. Um. Guys, guys, these are magical. They're magical, <gasps> yes, yes, they are. <laughs> right, guys pocket and them. they do. You guys walk out, torch the, you know, tents and all the things. Um, everybody kind of camps together. If you want to roll uh, mysticism checks, do you need to roll yeah, mysticism right. checks? You need to give me. Insight or perception checks. Holy shit. Or no, investigation you. too. <sighs> okay. I'll take. Um, wait. 16 wait. for perception. Are you saying pick one of the one of the following shit. or one of the following, yeah. Okay. okay. So investigation. Oof. Never mind. Not investigation. What's the other one you said? Perception, investigation, or insight. Kron, you grab one of the That's balls good. and it's just black. You're like it's magical, but what the fuck does this do? I don't know, um, same thing for most of the other people. Um, Kit, always mm -hmm. more perceptive than the others. Perhaps one of them. Try to juggle. You see something in there. It's hard to see. Mm -hmm. It's like a little sliver of light, maybe. And then it, you see it's a door because it opens. Mabel walks out. Oh. See her going back to the house the back of the house grabbing water from the well walking back goes back into the house goes to the door so this one crystal ball is monitoring Mabel's house apparently uh... okay I um 
I relay that to the rest of the of the group. And um I say maybe we should keep them separate and keep an, an eye on them and see if we can see anything else. That way we know if they're like permanent. For instance, if this one is always showing this location and what other things or locations or we can see. What if, what if they work by bear's door? Should we go back to the house and see if we find... Yes, like if we should definitely... Open. I mean, we are going back to take Gaspar back. Right. So we can use this opportunity and see if it's... Because it could if there's be two something way. there, yeah. This one is dark. Maybe, you know, let's keep it covered. Yes. Maybe inside our backpacks. I'll keep this one. I'll keep one. Okay. Yeah, I'll throw cool. a couple in my bag. Yeah, but maybe Buckle can keep two because he's yeah. strong. <laughs> <laughs> I am a little happy. No, no. We have six balls and five people. I can carry lots of them. I am strongest. Okay. So uh, Buckle can keep two, Crimson can keep two. Each one takes half as lot. One slot? Okay. Oh, I can carry half one. Half a slot. Okay. Uh, I carry one crystal. Okay. Yeah. The black oh, I, I have the Le, the Mabel, the Ma LeBlanc. Yeah, oh, the LeBlanc uh, stage. Half a slot, you said? Half yeah. a slot. Okay. I'm carrying half one, but if per... anyone wants me to carry more than one, I'm per ball. good. Per ball. Oh. I have plenty of, of slots. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was my last slot, but I want to check it from time to time, see if it's set up. Yeah. yeah. Um, DJ is at, checking a lot. Looking at them, you know, at night and realizing that one of them is monitoring the the Blanca State, realize that maybe it's just night and you can't see what it's monitoring. That makes sense. Okay. Um, the or morning. the other side is covered. You're not sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, yeah. There's again no like no rush, not, but this is a priority for Kit, so I'm gonna re like reinstate it. Yeah. Kit is gonna ask everybody in the that were in the tents about Severian and about the Brotherhood, and try to like gather as much information as she can from those two, those two cool. things. Uh, if I can. Cool. Um. Time is so gonna talk to, to the. Elven woman, because we haven't talked to her yet, too. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Okay. But there's, oh yeah, the swarm, the woman with the, the barbarian, the tattooed, and the twins. Is that it? Yep. Yes. Okay. I believe so. And the crowd. <laughs> yeah. And the audience. Um, the yeah. audience, you know, um, you find out that they're from a small village nearby um, called Placidity. And they're very worried because they don't see any of the children from the village. Great. Uh, they don't know if they were left behind and what happened to them. Um, talking to them, it seems like they are north from the LeBlanc estate. So maybe if you guys have been north instead of east, you would have been to Placidity instead. Um, instead of uh, Gromer's farm. Talking to Korak and Karak, they don't remember where they are from. They've been with the circus for a long time. They're like very transformed. Um, it seems to be like a symptom. The hybrids don't remember exactly. The one that does remember exactly is the elven lady. She doesn't remember if her name is actually Noirax, but that's what she, sa she, she says it is. Uh, she remembers being a noble, a uh, noble woman in Zakharov, which is outside of the centrals. Um, she didn't used to have all the tattoos that she has. Um, but she does say that her head was pretty foggy while she was in the circus, and then that is clearing up now, but she still lost a lot of her memories. Um, and take talking, you know, kind of everybody just talking around. 
um, Kururu and Captain Dihan express their feelings that they're gonna, you know, take their leave in the morning with Bullock back to outside of the outside of the Central Hills, and um, in the direction of Yuvalin, um, Zakrov and she expresses that she wants to go with them if they're okay with it and they are they are okay with it um severian um they don't know the name severian nobody knows seen Nobody seems to know the name Severian. Um, but Korak and Kerak do have seen a man um, covered with uh, um, black overalls, which is a recurring theme for you guys. Right. I also want to ask if they know about the helmet we saw in the middle of the battle? Um, no. Okay. Um, and yeah. Okay. Yeah. For the rest of the night, probably time soon to just play music to just try to relax people and take their mind off of things. Um, she's also going to like kind of discreetly try to suck up to the person who looks like like the noble looking elf because she's just like this woman may not remember that she is, comes from money but also doesn't hurt so <laughs> she's gonna just try to discreetly just request oh, if she, she has any songs she wants her to play and <laughs> you see the, like um fairies do have a uh, uh, <laughs> Um, reputation for being tricksters, you know, um, it's not uncommon for you to be received with some disdain, some suspicion. Um, not always, but it happens. It's not uncommon for you. Um, maybe amongst no nobles, it would be a little more because you're also a bard and everything. But she's so, just so happy that you came to talk to her. Like talking to a bard, that's like the closest to normality she's had even though she's like in the middle of a night with a giant bonfire of a circus um to warm her with these mutants and these crazy adventurers that showed up um in the middle of nowhere she doesn't has no idea where she is or how to get home and this is like the closest she, to normality she could be is a fairy bard talking to her you know like that's not crazy in in her her book so she is really happy to see you um cool oh and nothing ab about the mad hero story either don't think so okay Okay, he's just going to, like, roll out his sleeping bag and just mm -hmm. conk out. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Kit is probably going like, to need yeah. to sleep for, like, five days to recover yeah, yeah, from yeah. this. But. Um, you guys lay down to sleep, but it's actually, like, it took a while for the girl to show up. So it's, uh, by the time all of this is done, all the combat, all the, like, taking everybody out, all the torching the thing, all the talking, all the excitement, and you guys actually fall asleep. It's almost morning. <laughs> I'll uh, take it. <laughs> take what I can get. But, you know, <laughs> you guys find some trees or something. And uh, actually, you're not you're not too far from Gomer's farm. <sighs> oh boy. I'm just saying. But anyway, uh, whatever wherever you guys decide to take rest. Um, you can do a full night's rest, right? It's just going to be your HP, uh, your level, and... But I, I throw and, a little bit mana. of, like, a little bit of patching, like, a little ointments and massaging on everyone. 
I, I think to see if we can Who's recover everyone? a little bit. Because you need to, you can do the you can do the healing. Um, I think I'm top to. Yeah. I'm fine. Up to the to the number of your wisdom modifier or something, isn't that right? Or charisma? Well, I don't remember. It's wisdom for if it's for healing. It's probably with wisdom, and um, I have four. So just one person of the group won't get a massage. <laughs> Yeah, you can choose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you yeah, guys do level up. Do so we get time? Like, do we get nice. level up? And I'm fine. Yeah. And you recover yeah. twice. Um, it's it's equal to your level. HP. Twice? We do what? No, it's not twice, is it? No, it's no, twice. I mean, people you can help. Oh, um, okay. How many people can I help? Equal to your level. If oh, we so level up, do we get the new? HP and MP as yes. like is it available? Yes. <clears throat> All right. You get okay, three uh, mod and three HP left uh, back. Plus in my case, th three of you, which um, Kit needs to choose, get six and six. Nah, like you better uh, take care of any of myself. Other, of I'm other people. Gonna Brain. Time probably is not getting a full night's sleep. I think most she's actually gonna while everybody else is falling asleep kind of wants to keep an eye on everything and just is facing away from the fire and eventually smoldering re yeah. remains of the circus. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you're saying so if you're going to watch the whole circus like die down uh, and stuff? I'm not going to watch um, it. I'm, I'm explicitly trying to not look at the fire. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Okay, if I clock that, I would love to talk to time about that next session. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Kit is definitely gonna heal herself and probably leave it to the time. time. I'm, yeah. I'm good. I don't need it. Yeah. Kit time and time. So gonna... I, I'll, do, I'll do the massage while I talk to her about this fire <laughs> theme that has showed up twice already. <laughs> but later. Yeah. Oof. Next session. Um, I'll let you choose one more person too, as if you were level three already. Okay, uh, buckle. No, crimson is a little lower. I don't want it. Oh, you all better right, take then. care of mm -hmm. the other ones. Crimson oh, void. You guys don't know that yet. Crimson void. He has uh, issues with other people touching his body. Uh, like fair. he was okay with buckle because it was in the middle of the fight. Uh, so situations. Like carrying uh, very, but no he be, because of the 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 way that the his body is touched by the tormenta, he's not very comfortable with people in general touching his body. Plus, he's very stoic and he is more than halfway full, so he's like, no, better take care of someone else. I can I can handle it. Okay, so buckle, time, and myself. Uh, those three she listed get six HP and six six mana back for the night. You mana? guys can write that down. It, huh? It doesn't. Does it do anything to the mana? Yeah, it shouldn't help with mana. It's just HP. For healing. Oh, is it really? It's okay. Ju it's yeah. just HP. Yeah. Okay. My bad then. I wish. <laughs> if it mana was is mana, the hardest I, thing. I want it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. It's the hardest thing I in this game night. to get back. I'm back at full uh, now. <laughs> I'm on cool. this nice. And yeah, I guess it's a good moment to stop. So we're going to end it for tonight. Thank you guys so much. This was amazing. We beat <laughs> so the circus, cool. guys. Yay. Finally. Yay. Survived. I did not think we would. <laughs> By the skin of your teeth yeah. again, but you did. Uh, no, not really. I mean, we, we did yeah. die many, many, many times. You didn't yeah. die. Yeah. We went, went down. Punches. We went under. Many, just kind of close. Many times. Yes. Close. Just close, but not died. Um, uh, 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 starting from next level, Crimson Void, we will never fall. Never die. Again. No, he can die, but he'll never fall. Because if he's yeah. down, he's done. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, from this I mean, level or the next from one? The next one next. From the next one. Yeah. Four, four? I, got the, I just got the power that will allow me to get the next power that allows Crimson Void to fight to death. 
That's yeah, the awesome. thing about barbarians that is like fun he, is he that goes they're, they're like negative. dead. He goes into yeah. negative. He goes into <laughs> negative. Still, like, he goes until death. Is that? Yeah. And it's gonna be he's awesome. Dead. <laughs> but then he's dead. Dead. It's gonna yeah. be awesome. Did he die? No. Uh, cool. Gisele Fernandes, the amazing. Uh, Guilherme Moina, Natalia Molero, Sidney Garnat, Victor Lucky. I'm Alexander Januzzi. Thank you guys so much for coming. Please subscribe to on YouTube, on Twitch, on all the things. We love you guys. We will see you next time. Be nice to each other. Bye.